And we're back in research. Hey, a little bit of a late start to the stream there. Uh, it was going to be a little late anyway, um, but uh, it was it ended up being even later, getting shaken up by earthquakes here uh, again and still. Last night got woken up in the middle of the night, shaking around, and uh, then just this morning, a moment ago, another one. <clears throat> Big earthquakes. This one, I actually just checked uh, the data came in, was at a depth of only two kilometers, which is kind of insane. I've never seen one that shallow before here. Two kilometers and 5.6 uh, at the epicenter, though, not where we are. It's probably a good... Uh, maybe about 150 kilometers, 200 kilometers away from us, but that's pretty shallow. Sheesh. Um, so yeah, but they've been having a lot of earthquakes over there. Every day, like every few minutes. Um, uh, anyway, so, we're back. Um, and as you saw there, that was the startup screen, you know, uh, with the loading and all that. And I just thought it was... Um, it took a while because my computer's getting pretty slow these days, really needs to uh, be repasted. But um, it was reminding me that uh, yesterday I just finished working on the initial stages of faster optimized data loading and Cogmind in the newer version that I'm working on literally starts up immediately, which is, it's been ages since I've had that. Uh, it always reminds me of the early days of Cogmind. You know, it's a small game back then, the data hadn't been expanded so much, literally just click on the ex executable and then it opens immediately and you're playing right away. And you know, since then, I just keep adding stuff and adding stuff and adding stuff. After a decade, you've added so much stuff that it's slow to start because <laughs> it's loading a lot of things. Well, optimized all that away and it will now start instantly, which is pretty awesome. Um, still need to do a little more testing on that, but um, yeah, yesterday I did my first uh, actual more real test of that system and uh, it worked, uh, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, now, you know, it, it'd be kind of, I don't know, I kind of don't like it. It's kind of neat to see the, the loading thing screen that I added. Originally, we didn't have that, you know, that list of, uh, of parts of, of, of data that's being loaded at the bottom left corner of the screen. But I added that because the game has started to take so long to load. It used to just be a black screen, and you're waiting and waiting and waiting. And people, some people, you know, with a slower machine, you might have to wait 15 seconds. And you're like, oh, geez, is the game stalled? And actually, the, oh, your OS, like Windows might even actually say, this game, just, this, you know, this program has stopped responding, whatever, because because the original loading method wasn't really meant to deal with that kind of thing. And so the OS would actually not get any feedback from the game for over like 15 seconds. It would seem like it was stalling and crashing or whatever, but it wasn't. It was technically working. So I had to add that other system to show you that it was doing stuff, show you what it was doing. And also um, what that also does is it can help ping the system, show, show that it's actually responding to, <laughs> to um, messages from the system so that it doesn't think it's crashing that actually uh, worked you know that worked out okay um but now it's going to be that system is going to be almost moot because the game will just start right away pretty much again which is awesome uh, i didn't really expect to get to that at this point but uh, it was really nice to rework that system but a lot of architectural changes hopefully it doesn't break anything but you know mm, <laughs> we're in a transitionary state now anyway with beta 13 and, and all beta 14 now we're gonna get new data so yeah welcome everyone to uh, the stream, hey Runia. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really fast though, it'll be cool. All right, so for this run, we still got flight break. We got 394 integrity left. It's not dead yet. Uh, let me go back in the game here. I should turn on my cursor so you can see what I'm looking at for a second here. I normally don't play with that on. Uh, so we're looking here at replacement uh, propulsion for our flight break, which is gonna die. If you notice, you know, we're, we're, we're actually underweight now. Um, <clears throat> with our current build, but you gotta imagine when you lose the flight break, inevitable, um, we're gonna have to be able to replace this 24 support right here. And so as you can see right now, I've got um, 4 to 21 support total here, yeah, just with my spare units if we lose that, uh, which is enough to support our build. So I could even remove flight break at any time and we're okay. Um, just gotta always be kind of looking in advance at that. You need to make sure your spares, especially on flight, you need to make sure your spares are enough to um, replace uh, stuff that you've got in case you lose. Um, so yeah, let's look through our build. Oh, we got a triangulator. Yes, I actually used that last time. Um, there's a couple things. We've got an ECM suite, which I've never really made good use of before. I mean, it's it's useful. It's just not something that normally falls into my strategy. But we picked one up last time, and that came in handy as well. Also got a cloaking device. Haven't really used that yet. We have a spare hacking suite. When we want to do some more hacking, but haven't quite needed that yet. We're currently running on three, uh, three different uh, pieces of hackware here, mostly defensive. Mm. 
We've got also the other thing about our flight brick is it's supporting our machine analyzer, seismic detector, and targeting computer. This one's less useful out of the three, but I got to remember that we might uh, we're going to need to be able to replace um, these slots are going to need replacing. I guess that means we're going to want to go utilities. In fact, now that I think about it, you know, if we can't even one don't even want to keep the flight brick more than another depth because it'll remove our uh, final evolution. If you notice, we've only got, we're only missing two slots here, Y and Z, and um, which means uh, we're going to want to drop the flight brick on purpose. Uh, I mean, we could put it back on. Oh, no, we can't put it back on. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do that. But yeah, we might get rid of it on purpose after the next floor. That's something to remember. I didn't even think about that. Um, let's see. Let's go get a heat sink if we need that. Uh, we got a uh, cannon for digging. Fusion bomb launcher for blasting. Pretty pretty typical base uh, flight inventory here. Uh, just a medium storage. Uh, what else we got? Uh, no spare power. So let's see about coverage wise. Power is not super high and uh, it'll last. So I don't have to worry about that just yet. What else we got? Seismic detectors damaged. RCS is off. We're actually heat, heat positive on move right now. Oh yeah, and I have the signal interpreter, right? What and what was our part uh, paired with that? Uh, the ECM suite head. You can tell here we got our paired parts, which uh, I've mentioned before, but I'll, I'll say it again. In beta 14, you can click on these even with the mouse. Um, you can already swap back with the keyboard pretty easily using the slash command, but the mouse will have access to that too by simply clicking on these right here. Click on this and uh, switch back to whatever's paired with it, uh, which can be pretty cool. Uh, all right, so yeah. Anyway, signal interpreter you don't necessarily going to need anymore. So if we go back to our strategy here. We've got testing. We are already at the testing exit. I'm actually not interested in testing. I wish this was quarantine. That would be nice because I don't. I would kind of think we should going into quarantine could be very useful. Testing. We can pretty much not get anything from testing, which makes me not want to bother going here. Oh, and another thing I remember, we have some notes. We have notes here. We have an operator to the east, and Warlord's coming. See, I remember Warlord. We got Warlord coming up. Um, operator to the east. So we have an operator who was helping us hack. Uh, okay, I don't know. If, I guess there's not much else. And then exit-wise, this. This exit could be armory, though. In fact, there's a good chance it's armory, right? Considering our death, uh, it doesn't look so. We might not have a bead on an actual exit yet. We came in up here. This here uh, could very well be armory, but we can't tell unless we go back up there. It'll be an actual exit. Where is an actual exit? Dang. Hmm. Actually, probably, uh, probably going east would be more likely to find a regular exit. I'd have to go back through. Could it get hacking and testing, or could it get disintegrator and hyper uh, hyper gauss? Yeah, I don't see a lot of use in those for us. Prototype treads times two, man. Ooh, I like that times two marker. Hmm. So I think I'd rather skip testing and go to quarantine. <laughs> I think that was their point. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I figured, uh, yeah, I, I should have known, Lyra, that this is true. <laughs> Disintegrated and hyper velocity and gals. Hey, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I, I tried it on my last run to put together the gal, actually. Uh, here comes our operator friend who's still alive. And as I recall, there was uh, some enemies over here. Let's see. I don't have anything for really detecting. Oh, all right, let's let's pay attention here. I'm gonna go to the east and look for a regular exit. Even though I don't recall, it's over there. We probably escaped from some stuff over here. But I think there was a sentry that came down from the north side. I don't normally like. Oh, all right, yeah, this guy here. That's something. What's he doing? That's a sentry or something.
It could be a hauler, it's true. I don't know what that is. It's not escorted. Okay, it's a hauler. I'm like, all oh, worried here. I thought it was a man, but if it's, I, the thing is, the only reason I was worried about it is because I knew we had left a sentry behind earlier. It is a hauler. Testing Slander is my game. <laughs> eh, it, it can have some good stuff. Ooh, Assassin. There we go. There's something bad. Um, I don't want my operator buddy to get spotted by them, but... Alright, they're headed north. We should be safe then. I want to get back off to the east. Hey, there's an impulse thruster array in this room too. Hmm. Uh, it's actually kind of nice, but... Nah, <laughs> least confident sentence I've heard you say. I'm just not focused on it. I could, uh, it's... It's clearly got some good stuff in it. I mean, where else are you going to get potential cannon, right? Uh, if the choice is between testing and main exit, you still take testing. Not sure what armor you do for this. I'm not trying to go for armory. I'm trying to go for a regular exit. I'm not, I'm not bothering with testing. That's the reason I'm not going to this exit up here is because I think it's, it, there's a good chance it's the armory. In which case, yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna go for something beyond W0, just going for basic here. Oh P80 master. Yeah. Okay, this is a problem going this way. Hmm. I don't have a way to detect that guy either. That's a bit of a problem. Alright, I could uh I could detect him with you. If he's coming this way. Okay. Yep, not that way. <laughs> I was planning on going into this room to detect uh, the programmer using my operator buddy so that I know when the programmer is past the end and I can go east. No, that's not going to work. Anyway, let's uh, come back over here and wait a sec. Alright, sentry is... Where are you going, sentry? Okay. Programmer now is... We know the programmer is to the north. The sentry... Why is he going around that way? What are you doing? Circling around. He's going to go back around now. Hmm. Okay. There goes the programmer. Uh, it's a let alone programmer, maybe. Hmm. All right. Okay. Sneaky. Just watch him run into something else. Hey, it's operator from... It's our operator's matter. All right. Those guys are out of there. All right. Hopefully, there's nothing up ahead. But there go the programmers and the sentry. Gave them the slip. Hmm. Yeah, not the greatest uh, corner. I, mean, I guess it's known that there's dangerous over here, though. I'm going to wait right here for just a second. Also, while I'm waiting, because I'm bored, I'm going to attack this guy. See if I can get some matter out of the deal. Yeah, more enemies up there. Do not want to get spotted. Unfortunately, to the east of us, it looks like there's maybe a dig, but it's kind of far. Hello, Echo Skip. Echo Skip, welcome to the stream. Um, Haley Cogmine build. Yeah, I'm in. I'm. I mean, well, this isn't really. This is kind of. This is a flight build. Flight, you know, might use melee. It's not really much of a melee build um, in terms of actual fighting, but it's not weak at least. But yeah, it's not a true actual melee fighting build. We don't have any support utilities for it either. I'm just using it to get through dig mainly. And we also have digging here. <laughs> That's right. Dance like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Uh, if necessary. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Put on our neutron can here for a second. This is probably a multiple dig here, which is not great, but eek. Mainly, okay, yeah, that's pretty far. Shoot. Whoops, yeah, I'm going to overheat on that. Hmm, yeah. It's a little far over there. Alright, we won't go that way then. Oh, shoot. I'm actually going to be overweight too. Uh, oh no, wait. We're still fast. Oh, we're still underweight with the neutron cannon on. Maybe I should leave that on then now. We can support it. Might as well. It gives us some extra coverage. 
My six, most successful one was a coward flight build. I barely fought anything. Yep, that's the most. That's the easiest way to be the most successful is to be a coward and not <laughs> fight anything. All right, uh, they're still over there. I just don't want to get. S All right, that's just one guy. He's cool. Although also, oh no, it's two guys. Never mind. Uh, I can't quite get over there though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I could barely. I'm afraid they'll reposition. I should wait just a second here. <sighs> They're kind of close. I could almost make this by going straight east. Also, I need to remember we can actually fly, and I could fly over those engineers. But the fact that we've attracted engineers is not great, I guess. Oof, getting kind of close here. Really close to getting spotted. Oh, yep, see, I'm glad I stepped down here. Hmm. I'm just gonna wait. Cargo convoy, hmm. Well, this ain't it. Yeah, but it isn't the most fun way. Yeah, well, I mean, it can be enjoyable. Some people really like to playing that way. Personally, I like to blow stuff up, but... And I went with Flight Brick this time for fun, um, because it gave me Flight Brick, so I'm gonna go Flight Brick. I, I, what I want to do now is head east and cut through the wall again to the northeast. That would make this faster, but unfortunately, I can't really do that effectively, I don't think, because there's probably engineers just right outside still. Yeah, see, engineers. I can't get out there. But, so, anyway, just to wait a little longer. And then head this way. Took a little while to get past that section. But now it's doable. Um, a little far on that. Fine. Too many engineers around here. Go away! <laughs> here, oh, I know what to do. Yeah, here we go. Watch this. <laughs> there. Go away. All the engineers are leaving. <laughs> Gonna rush off to the other side of the room. <laughs> well, I go this way. I'm gonna wait one more second for this. Attack the wall. Yep, yep. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Okay, that took a little while. Okay, now I can get into this corridor, finally. There we go. They're like dogs. <laughs> yeah. You can you can do stuff to control the AI. It's pretty useful, man. I don't have any. We had a seismic. I mean, we had a. Oh shoot! Why you gotta be over? You know what? He's probably standing on the exit, ain't he? All right. Cutters or no cutters? If we go this way, there might be cutters. I wonder if I. I guess I didn't see this guy earlier. All the uh, TGYRS stuff uh, since you last played ages ago. Uh, no, they've, that's always been there since the beginning of Cogmind. Um, it's uh, it shows off-screen indicators. For well, let me think. Yeah, that's been there since the very first version of the commercial version. Anyway, let's play the seventy-year-old version. It just shows the off-screen machines that you've uh, uh, know about. You can see the letters as they stack up, but it's always been there. There it is. That's it. Okay. Oh shoot. Alright, so anyway, the reason I came up here is because I'm pretty sure we're close to an exit, but... <sighs> the heavy might call cutters right from that exit. <laughs> Go overweight temporarily to summon specialists. Are you safe if you're in o LOS? Oh, LOS up the exit? No, I'm, that wouldn't make you safe. Why would that? I, that there's, there's nothing about that that would make you safe. <laughs> they could totally exit from right there, I would think. I, I mean, yeah, if we walk over here, they, I could totally get Cutter summoned on me. That seems dangerous, huh? That does affect some dispatches. Um, that's true. Probably not these. That's a good question, though. I mean, it's true. I know it does affect some. So yeah, that's the exit we want right there. That's a regular exit. Um, and the friggin' heavy here. All right, I guess I could risk it, but this is, I guess, this would be the perfect opportunity to attach that graphene brace, which I carried for this purpose, but then dropped it earlier. Remember that? <laughs> I remember that. Hmm. <laughs> uh, 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 and, and what some people are saying is to in intentionally go overweight to summon specialists. Actually, it's hard to yeah, risk it for the biscuit. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's that's chat for us, right? Uh, we could. This looks pretty dangerous. 
Last time I did something chat wanted, it didn't turn out very well. <laughs> could totally get ripped apart. <laughs> Let me see. What else could we do? Um, oh well, there's the safe and there's not safe. This just seems really dangerous. Hmm. Let me see. What other options? I could try and... Uh, I'd say dig from the south, but it's not really going to work. Down here. Um, digging across just to keep distance from the heavy. Then you have to go through some cave-in areas that actually would be probably safer. But... I'm pretty sure you'd get reinforcements called on us. We could go over weight, it's true, and then hope that we don't get cutters. That's something that people you might you might do intentionally. That's maybe a better idea here, because cutters are very bad. Um, <laughs> basically, the the heavy sensors are checking the speed of things that it can't identify, and if you're going really fast, it's more likely to summon cutters, and if you're going slow, it's more likely to summon specialists. Um, so what some people will intentionally do if you've got to pass through uh, their sensor radius is to lower your speed. Um, now it doesn't always work, um, because if that always worked it would be, uh, you know, it would be kind of cheesy and too predictable and I, don't want it, I didn't want it to be that way, so sometimes they, they send a different type of squad anyway. Um, so you know, you might be moving slow and they're going to send cutters, sometimes you're moving fast and they don't actually decide to send cutters. Uh, it makes it more interesting, kind of mixes things up. Um, so um, that is not uh, not uh, not a definitely thing. It does say you get out of here before first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we can chat here. Okay, so as you can see, oh, this is also in case you didn't know, this is a uh, right here in the new beta 13. This is a uh, a new option you can activate in the advanced config to show you to do the calcu overweight calculations for you. Show how simultaneously show how much you're overweight and how much uh, you have until the next overweight threshold. Um, so anyway, that's option. It's normally off by default because obviously it's completely esoteric. But I wonder how many people have turned that on. Have any of you in chat been using that? <laughs> Echo Skip said that. Echo Skip says that. Have a win streak if I enabled save upload. So there's that. <laughs> um, <laughs> only two to four percent overweight. Not bad, <laughs> right? Nebula did not exist until now. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's brand new in beta, the beta thirteen, and there's a a ton of advanced config options. It's it's recommended, in, you know, by the tutorial eventually to check out the manual, which lists all the advanced options. After you've been playing, after you've been playing for a while. Um, there's definitely stuff in there that comes in very handy, but it's just uh, there's a lot of things that make the interface a little more impenetrable, so you don't want it on for everybody right away. This being one of those things, there's no way you can tell what that means unless <laughs> unless you've actually read the instructions on it. So, <laughs> Rooney says, "Wait, sorry, which option? I'm focused on my riff guide. I'm talking about the overweight op, the overweight calculations option at the top of the parts list." Thank you, Echo Skip. Happy to see me still cranking out code. I am still cranking out lots of code. More than ever, too. Been super busy with that lately. Riff Guide is exciting. Hey, Nanette, welcome. Uh, uh, turned it on and noticed it didn't show your overweight multiplier at some point. No, it's definitely going to show that. Um... There's some, I mean, oh, well, unless you go over 9, yeah, that's intentional. As, as with a lot of numbers in Cogmind's identifier, if you go over 9 times, if you go over single digits and you're going into multiple digits, it no longer matters. So it's going to put a star up there, as in you're insanely overweight now. That's, that's the normal behavior for it. Is Cogmind profitable? Is this your day job? Cogmind has been my day job for over a decade. <laughs> I live off Cogmind. Not that I make a lot of money off of it, but it's enough to get by, so I continue to do it. But, um, yeah, obviously I make more money doing a regular job. Lots more. But I will uh, stick with minimum wage in uh, providing entertainment for people. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's been my full-time job for over a decade. Started in uh, 2013 full-time. So, we're going to move Back to the, our, our run here, I'm going to move overweight, flying through this heavy's view in case he's going to summon something which makes it a lot less likely that it'll be cutters. Overweight, yeah, we're overweight, I know. We're going to keep moving here. 
Okay. Specialist reinforcements, and they're also not being dispatched right in front of us. Uh, Rooney says, no, the default is fine for me, but I've played... I played with it for so long. Yeah, I mean, the default is... The, you mean the default for the overweight indicator, too? It's certainly... Uh, I mean, the default is... You can... Especially if you're used to it, it's fine. It's just that if you're in certain builds, if you're wondering about how... If you want to be overweight but not too overweight, it's good to figure out... Um, it, it does the math for you is all it does. So it's some very specific... It was uh, something I added specifically because I was doing a run of Beta 13 in preparation for release, a really quick run. And I noticed that I was having to calculate that um, occasionally for that particular build. Some builds don't, will never even care about this, and some play styles um, would never even care about that fact. But I wanted to be overweight. I mean, I didn't. I was going to be overweight, but I didn't want to hit the next threshold, but I didn't want to actually calculate what it was. It's a really simple calculation, but... <laughs> Might have been LOS of exit. Eh, there could be something else nearby. It's hard to say. Go core and run. <laughs> yeah, we. I've been trolled already. We're gonna stick. I'm gonna speed up again and uh, dive out this exit, which we know is research. And there's an exit. I'm checking out what's out here first. Regular ECM. Uh, oh look, there's a. That would. That's a hilarious trolling. The game is trolling me. What if it did put out crutters and there's a graphene brace in the next room? I would never know that. I guess probably. But uh, that's amusing. All right. Wait. ECM suite good. The best ECM suite is in the room. You're saying it's better than our our, our, be, our uh, advanced ECM because it drains less power, but it's still good enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going to stick with mine, but I can totally see that. Downgrading is upgrading. <laughs> I can totally see that. Mm, okay, so I don't think there's anything else to do in here in particular. Time to head out. Goodbye, heavy specialists. Okay. So... Um, don't need weapons. Power, not yet. Uh, propulsion. <sighs> We're going to need to replace those utility slots that I've got going now. So I could attach, I would do at least one now. I could do one prop, one utility, or just go straight U2 utility. And then we're going to rip off the flight brick before doing an X evolution. And go with the probably another prop and another utility maybe. Or I don't know, that, oh, that's a harder one. Hmm. But even just getting utility now is to replace what we're going to lose from the, uh, the flight brick loss. So I'm going to go with two utility now. Pink. Not to do rock combo. What does the seismic stuff do? Oh, seismic. Yeah, that's a new thing in Cogmine for um, showing you uh, anything that touches the ground. You can see moving bots and, and machines. Anything that causes vibrations. So machines, explosions, uh, combat. You can see all kinds of stuff out of view. So that's what all the orange stuff is. All right, so we're on a new floor. We're starting in the bottom left, which is nice. That's a good start. And uh, we got to go north. Boom. All right, see, there's our first seismic signals here. We can see that there's a machine up there to the northwest and a bot to the west. Engineering response, network critical failure offline. It will be pretty easy to find flight units on this floor with Warlord around. Yeah. Yeah, seismic is really cool. Um, one of the better... Uh, Forms of uh, info war. Okay. So we are currently in the Warlord event, and yeah, we're gonna be looking around for replace. Oh shoot! Well, there's enemies right out there. I don't want to mess with them yet. Okay, we're gonna not go that way just yet. Hmm. We're going to be ignoring the other stuff that's going on in the chat here. It's the system chat. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay, I think we know what's here. <laughs> that's cool. I haven't seen that on Sazbik before. <laughs> I do believe that there's an incoming assault right next to us. Oh, yeah. First time I've seen that on Science Week. Yeah, me too. I mean, this run, it was something else I saw for the first time. One of the things I saw recently for the first time was Infestation. 
coming. Uh, the infestation plus the demol demolishers going after that can produce some really cool seismic uh, visuals in the mines at the beginning. Watch out for the vacuum chamber. Oh, they're gonna blow that up. Oh, this here. Yeah, there we go. He's gonna blow right through that. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's, that's uh, radius five. Hmm. That'd be exciting. Hmm. Nice. So we could wait for them to break through. Actually, I'm surprised that they haven't... Maybe they have, and we're too far away, and I just didn't hear it. I was going to say, they should be fighting the guys to the north, though. Unless there's walls right in between. But there, we saw some right outside there. Hmm. Uh oh Okay, there's some guys to the southeast. Yeah, okay, now they are fighting up there. I can hear it. Yeah, alright. They just hadn't... We just hadn't gotten through the wall. All right, so I guess we'll head west and hang, stay away from the hunter over there. Just gonna wait for just a bit here. He's gonna blast into that thing. Got some guys coming from the east. Waiting for Borbot up here to f blow this room up. Nova cannon. Boom! There it goes! <laughs> Hello, everyone. And there go the signals. Oh, shoot! This hunter's over here. <laughs> Where'd the defenses go? <laughs> oh, it's the overlay you toggle with all the numbers? Um, which... Which numbers, which overlay? Um, for referring to, we can do tactical HUD, which gives more numbers. If you mean the no oh, if you mean the numbers, it depends on which numbers you mean. There's numbers everywhere, and the numbers over here is Q mode. <laughs> the ruler function, oh, that yeah, spacebar X. If you're looking for ranges, uh, this is the ruler function um, for ranges, numbers. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Huh? Um, you can tell the distance from any point to any other point. Yeah, ruler. Ruler's in the spacebar menu. Spacebar X. Um, or if you, or you don't even need the spacebar menu if you use the keyboard and you just want to do Control Shift. Uh, whoops. Control. Sh uh, uh, I mean, uh, Shift Alt X. Same thing. Anything from the spacebar menu you can use Shift Alt to activate. Um, so yeah, Shift Alt X toggles that too. Along with anything else, like uh, finding items. Here's the items we know about is uh, on the spacebar menu for find and you can search stuff up all the weapons that we know about very little so far having just entered the map so cursor off and the I'm assuming that the hunters got someone fighting it flamers hmm all right, so what else is going on up there? Okay, he's dead. Flamer, there's another guy. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's shut down. Oh, I have a data jack. Unfortunately, it's not a remote data jack and I'm too far away, he's gonna die. <laughs> Mega burned. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh yeah, they weren't gonna stand a chance. As it should be. Advanced cooling. Light angular momentum engine. So time to stock up. <laughs> Bad emperor. Hey, welcome. Wish there were 2x2 two two haulers that only transported multi-slot items. <laughs> that sounds pretty funny. Alright. Uh, here's a replacement seismic detector. Oh wait, I've got free slots now. I forgot. I should put something in those slots. I got room for stuff. Even with my cannon on, we could put a cloaking device on. Um, that's not essential since we already have visual processing. Um, should find a replacement for that too, make it better. But uh, usually one's good enough. It's still helpful, but um, it's more it becomes even more situational in that case. Plus, it would also suck more power. Huh? Let's see. What does that do for us? Yeah, make it negative power there. But it's cool. Makes our UI cool too. But I guess we're gonna wait on that. We could maybe lead on. Let's see. Uh, I was gonna grab an extra seismic detector. Make some room for that. 
We're gonna need that later. Thick collars. Oh, now's your time to hack for access main. You know what? I never even consider hacking. Shoot, I guess I should have done that, huh? I never normally consider that because I normally, for me, the terminals are already gone. I should have done that already. I didn't even think about that. Normally in Warlord Attack, I never, I'm too late for any terminals because I never this fast. Oh, well, this one ain't gonna cut it. Um, <sighs> didn't even bother to try. I don't have enough offensive hackware for this. Uh, there's the next terminal's way over there probably. It's hard to tell actually. Mm, yes, the wiki has been overhauled, replaced by Cogminder. Big botnet, that's right. Uh, actuator array, linear grav jet, heavy siege treads. Man, I gotta ignore treads, it's like... Ooh, hmm. Nope, that's not the machine I wanted. There's a power sword, though. Hmm. Hmm, it doesn't look like we're going to get to a terminal in time, then. Nine thirty-nine. Yeah, we've only got 20 turns left. 20 turns, actually, that's 100 moves? Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. I could actually even make it to the other terminal, not like I actually get through it, but... There's a terminal to northeast revealed by the machine alliance. Well, there's one there. Uh, northeast machine. There's this terminal. That can't be a DSF, but what do you mean... Oh, did you mean because it was off screen you didn't know if it was a DSF? Yeah, I knew that one was already a terminal. I knew what it was. It was big, but this I didn't assume we we're going to get to it in time. But Especially because there's also enemies over here. And it's a little far off. Hello there, Borbot. Not making it through. We've only got 10 turns left. There's the other terminal. This is it. We've got six. This is it. This terminal is going to shut off in three turns. Security level three. Main. Oh, I could have put on my other piece of hackware, I guess. I could still put it on. Mm, don't really want to put on another piece of hackware. Eh, maybe I should. Yeah, I mean, because the same thing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Fine. Right, I'll put it on. Ready? <laughs> there. Look, direct hack, level access point 25. Okay, this might work. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> that would have been so epic. There's literally two turns left before this terminal shuts down. <laughs> mm. Too bad. Unless I saw the turns wrong, but I'm pretty sure I saw that would have been that would have been pretty cool. Advanced shield generator actually sounds kind of cool, huh? Oh wait, did I count the turns wrong? When does it actually? Oh, when does it actually shut down? It was, it was it said 100 turns, but I was I was gauging from 39, which was the entry. When do the machines actually shut down? Oh, it was 110. Oh, okay. All right, so we still got nine turns left. Nine turns. Wait a minute, there's another one up there. Hmm. Gonna get myself in trouble over here. <gasps> 47. God <laughs> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> so close. So close. Oh well, whatever. We'll find it the other way. Like running around. <laughs> overload good? Oh uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. I can overload. That would have actually would that have made a difference? With these two. Was that eighteen? Yeah, if I did it earlier on, we would have actually made that. Mm hmm. Rooney is quite familiar with this one. That very special feeling. Uh this is not something I never really even consider. I never considered this. It's uh 
That, that, that's cool though. Hey, there's a prototype processor. Prototype storage. I think I might, you know what I might need actually is an a, a um, CAS, huh? That would be nice at this point. Because I don't really want to break stuff. Not something I normally consider either. All right, well, whatever. Done with that. I guess this operator is now useless. There's an eye. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm going to not go that way. Well, at least our machine analyzer still works to identify things. <sighs> Context for kids. First time attempted to use a hack drone successfully. Terminal shut down right as I sent out the hack drone. Oh. <laughs> Oh, on imprint? Oh god, yeah, that would be pretty uh, funny. Micro antimatter reactor. Hmm. Mm, B plus one mass there for only plus one energy though. Hmm. Guess more storage. Actually, no, I don't know how much storage do those have. Um, less even. Hmm. I feel like to the north is an enemy. Oh yeah, that's a lot of stuff out there, but that's not the enemy I thought it was. <gasps> Enhanced optical array! I actually want that. It's like on the floor here. Yes! Finally get one. Um, I can even totally put it on as soon as these swarmers go away. <laughs> we'll get you later. Not now. I will first try to... Uh, Alright, I can't get through here. Gonna first try to find some friends to hang out with. Obviously, there's some to the south. Also, I guess we should say hi to Warlord. Well, that's a little far. Hmm. Hmm, I guess this might have been a cloaking situation. <laughs> okay then. Um Get a little warm here. Save me. Also don't kill me. Oh shoot, you don't have any friends. Where are your friends, man? <laughs> oh shoot, there's a terminator to the west. What the hell? Where the hell are the reinforcements? All right. Well, anyway, he spotted me, but he's not after me. He's after that dude who's gonna take, try to maul everyone who gets through that door. That's awesome. They're gonna try to fly through that door. Hey, Chris sandwich. Ah, super long day at work. Little exhausted. <laughs> uh, get some rest. Thanks for the good luck. Actually, yeah. On that note. Uh, MTF is also streaming right now in Discord. He started a new run uh, not too long ago, like maybe an hour ago. So he's probably still on the first map. Um, <laughs> MTF takes a long time in the early game. So anyone who wants to check out an early game run uh, rather than a late game and special stuff going on, you can uh, go to the Roguelikes uh, Discord, Cogmine Discord. Oh, he's he got... What? He just started Factory? How did he get to Factory already? <laughs> That's insanely fast for MTF. Anyway, I dropped the link in there for anyone who wants to switch over to uh, MTF streaming in Discord. Um, <clears throat> he's apparently in Factory already, but still early game compared to where we are and what we're doing now. All right, so there's a hunter to the north. Oh, there's a garrison right there. Look at that. All right. Should shut this thing down. Actually, wait. No, the machine network's offline. It still works, but it's on. Okay, no, this one's count. All right, I'm seal that. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We're a hacker. Uh... That's somewhat good, I guess. Hey, everybody. There's enemies to the east. Go deal with that. All right, so I'm going to head up the west side of the map because that's the safer side of the map right now. We will be much safer over here. There's a freaking eye over there, though. Hmm. Okay, eye. Just looking around for stuff. I guess I need to remember that optical array, too, but they're not that hard to find, so we get one for long. Can I kill you? Whoops. Not with the power sword inactive. I can't.
catch you. Eventually. Okay, no. <laughs> Break it, eh? Alright, I won't go that way then. Not gonna catch me. Nope. Uh, prototype processor. Can't tell what that is. Is there enemies over here? Oh, shoot. Okay, that's actually not good. Where the hell are my friends? Wow, there's a lot of space up here. Hmm, Warlord must be to the north. Crap. See, this is a situation where cloaking device probably would have helped. <laughs> and or transmission jammer. Not even doing that. What did I? I just got my flight brick. Just finally took some damage. Oh, MT oh MTF's doing a flight build. <laughs> Get it over with quickly considering how much he grabs about flight now. Eh, we'll see. But I can see that's why he's going faster then. Oh, the wa swarmers were there because of uh, the watcher? Mm, did he alert anything? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I'm just going to watch my flight brick get red. It's going to take all the hits anyway, and I'm going to replace it anyway, so don't really mind. At this moment, we can just keep heading off over here, and they're not going to catch us. <laughs> and there's more friends. A lot of nuclear pulse thrusters from dead stuff. God mind. Okay, yeah, all right, well, we found our friend here. Let's... Oh, these guys seem to be stuck. We can help with that. Uh, I'm going to step on the other side. You guys can have some fun. <laughs> it's the blocking 2x2. Two two. Yeah, it'll be fun to uh, get rid of that. The Samaritan. At least the Samaritan will get out of the way. The, the, the problem with the other one is he couldn't really get out of the way. Mm-hmm. Wait near to see what these guys are gonna do. Alright, they're all gonna attack him. I was wondering if they're gonna come after me or not, but now they've got bigger threats now. Alright. Mega energy drain on that. I guess it'd be smart to turn on if I was going to head around corners or into new areas. That would make sense. <clears throat> hey, Monist! Cogmine, that's right. The Samaritan at least got out of the way, though. It's easier for them to dodge stuff. Uh, I guess I can annihilate this guy. No idea what's inside you, but... Oh, okay. A lot of prototypes. Uh, a lot of prototypes. No a way to identify you at present. What was that? That was transport network coupler. Whoa, okay. A lot of stuff happening at once there. Simultaneous dispatches. Hmm. Big prototype device. Not gonna hang around with Warlord. Was that to the east? Advanced mode. Advanced target analyzer. Oh, there's a Cyclops to the north. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we can see some seismic down there. Actually, slightly out of seismic range, but he's blowing stuff up. Oh, I think I found some Gamma Bomber rays. Just a few of them. <laughs> Just a few. Anyone need any Gamma Bomber rays? I will send them into your run right now. <laughs> Imagine sending parts into other people's runs. Gamma Bad Array. Someone was just reporting using those to good effect the other day. <laughs> I don't need any Gamma Bomber rays, though. We're going to go with a Fusion Bomb Launcher. Yeah. Alright, so there's a Behemoth to the north. I guess we'll go east then. I'm not going to mess with him. So the only reason I'd really activate cloaking is to go around a corner, I guess. Or into a doorway of... Uh, that's so another reason. Just trying to think of reasons I might actually turn this thing on. Given our current build and situation. But I'm not big on uh, micromanaging that stuff. Another Cyclops, dang. 
Hmm. Oh, shoot. And Terminators. I think this is a danger area. Huh. There should be one more group. Warlord group out there. We got one. We got two. There's another Warlord group to the north somewhere. Probably to the north somewhere. Along this northern area. I don't know where, but somewhere. <clears throat> Good arrays. That's all the flight you need. What, what arrays are we looking at? Oh, nuclear pulse array? Is that what we're talking about? Oh, you, never mind. We're talking about gamma bomb arrays. What? <laughs> Cog my net hack bones update. <laughs> yeah, I thought of for many years. I thought of online related functionality, but it would only be suitable for an event. So I've imagined using uh, doing something like that at some point, but nothing definite. So, all right. I'm just talking about nuclear. Oh, you are talking about nuclear pulse array. Ah, these here. Uh huh. Yeah, I need to do need to replace uh, what we've got here. Nuclear Pulse Array is 13. These are pretty good, actually. Yeah. Could grab a couple of these to replace Flight Brick, actually. Makes sense. I mean, Flight Brick for now still works fine. <clears throat> uh, I do have one field propulsion drive here. Not an array, though. A um, couple of other things, too. But, yeah. We can come back to these... Central route. Uh oh, we lost one of the uh, this guy here. How did he get hit? Die already? Well, he's passing by a garrison. Field propulsion drive is unusable. Well, I mean, it's totally usable if I don't have anything else. Oh, the guy I lured a million guys to. Oh yeah, without any backup. That makes sense. <laughs> Way to go, me! All right. Uh, let's see, we do need to find the actual exit. Let's see, where do we start? We started way down here, so... Yeah, I do need to explore the northern area. Unfortunately, there's like two behemoths up here. I could circle back around west here and go along the west edge of the map. Uh, that would be one possible direction to go. Otherwise, I have to head more towards the middle and then cut north. It's doable too, I guess. Oh, whoa. That exploded. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to watch my power, but eh, whatever, I'll leave it on for now. We go cloaking. Oh, okay, we got some friends up ahead, good. Mm, northeast is probably not friendly, though. I Exit, found an exit. Also, I still have an interpreter, yes. Alright, well, I found it. Oh wait, that's, shoot. That's, that's a branch exit. That is not the exit we need. <sighs> Energy warning, yes, I know. All right. Anyway, we go the way of friends. That is a branch exit. Um, it's not, wait a minute, actually. Oh yeah, that is actually where we, we could go that way, quarantine up there. Um, is it ideal to have a power slot now so movement doesn't drain too much? Not as strategic. Eh, um, yeah, I mean, it depends really on the, the overall build. Normally, you know, with the flight builds, you're generally going to be pretty much on the edge in terms of a lot of your resources, heat and power. So, you know, it depends on how much you want to devote to that. The thing is, as soon as you add a power source, that uh, power sources are pretty heavy. So that kind of forces you to rebalance your build around that idea. So you can do it. But it's not essential. I'm not really sure what the current meta is for among flight players for power sources. When you might take the third one. If you take a third one. Oh, here's a troll. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to look over here. What's going on in this room? Oh, really? Because this third is rare, even for extended? Interesting. Hmm. I would have thought that maybe Flight was starting to get into doing uh, multiple, uh, or up to three, but... Yeah, don't shoot me, please. Or burn. Oh, wait, did I get... Where did that... Uh, uh, can I get the optical right now? Um, oops. Optical array. Where was that? Oh, down here, huh? Uh, optical array might be accessible now. 
Hmm, it's off the other direction now. Eh. Let's see what's up ahead. There's an eye up ahead. Is it gonna report us? Combat to the west. Eye to the east. No enemies to the east. So, dead eye to the east. Regular jammer. Unknown reactor. Anytime I see unknown stuff, I instinctively check my corruption. <laughs> Oh, hello there, Warden. Graphene brace. Um, yeah, like Runia says, the funny part about adding more power to flight is that now you need more support to carry the extra engine. Exactly. The, the mass is a big thing, which means you need more flight, which means more energy. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a balancing act between your power and propulsion. So it really depends on what types of propulsion you're using and types of, types of power can make a big difference. So you want to pick the right types so you don't have to do as much of that. Oh, oh hey, Dosh. <laughs> I've arrived at late man this time. Yep, yep, actually didn't... Not too late. It started a little less than an hour, or a little less than an hour ago, yeah. Um, yeah, the flight break is getting red. They've already found replacements for it, but not needing them yet. They're up here to the west, basically looking for a regular, or, or exits. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. I oh, know, I already found a, there's an exit to quarantine right here, which means, and that's where we're going to leave. Now, I think we're going to quarantine. Why not go to quarantine, right? Which means we just need to pick up some extra parts, and then we can head out of here. That being... So, yeah, just kind of exploring around. Oh, shoot. If Flight Brick can take the hits, that's fine. Oh, our Falx actually took a hit there. Eek. Dosh is a name I recognize from some wacky Factorio runs. <laughs> I'm a Cogmind YouTuber now. Good choice. Yes, I, I'm still occasionally getting emails from people saying Dosh sent me. <laughs> I had one this morning. <laughs> so, of course, I had to thank them, then indirectly thank Dosh again. <laughs> uh, okay, so enemies to the north, uh, so we won't go north. Um, flight Brick took another hit, but again, we're just kind of letting Flight Brick die a slow death. Whoops, no, I don't want to collide with the wall. Thank you for warning me. Shoot, there's nothing else up here. Where's it? Friends. I want friend cover. There's a lot of... Oh, these guys are still streaming to the exits. Oh, wait, there's a sentry over there. Shoot. Alright, now I'm kind of getting locked in here. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Hello, room. Alright, we're now north of the grunts. This is actually kind of a little more dangerous, especially if we get... Uh, prototypes on us. That could be bad. Headed in the wrong direction. Could circle around back to the north. But, eh, what's a little danger? At least there's no garrisons nearby, it looks. Don't see any utility shielding? No, I'm, I'm a bad flight player, so you won't see any utility shielding on me. <laughs> there's a backup. That's true, I do have a, I have a backup seismic detector. I can't put it on, but, uh, yes. Also, I need to remember next floor, need to, or actually this floor, I guess we're going to do it now, is to rip off the flight break. That would mean I'd immediately lose those extra slots, but yeah, it's okay. That's true. Utilities survive well when there's a 5,000 coverage f uh, flight unit. What exactly is the coverage on this thing here? Uh, 640? Yeah. Um, that's actually part of it. That is going to change things. I didn't really think about the coverage on this. Once I swap it out not gonna have as good of coverage and might actually start losing parts instead of just having the flight brick get hit. <laughs> hmm. There's a director and there's a garrison up ahead. Hmm. The director ain't gonna do squat. Oh shoot, whoa! Okay, that's me stepping forward when I'm not supposed to step forward. Also, I'm going the totally wrong direction. All right, fine, let's not go that way. Oh shoot, there's a champion down there too now. 
I could actually even ECM now if I wanted to. This isn't actually a good direction, but... Oops. Um... Shoot. Yeah, good luck shooting me through your friends! Yep, those grunts are still over here. A little bit of flight break damage. Oh, I guess I should have turned that on. <laughs> All right, there was. There's a sentry in the room to the west, or he was in the room to the west. We can actually go around him now, though, because he's. Oh shoot, he's back in position. Shoot, I thought this was the sentry down there. It's not the sentry. You were wrong. <laughs> so what's out there? Is that a hauler? Okay, that's a hauler. I should kill this for fun. I doubt I'll get anything out of it though, so I'm probably not gonna waste the time on it. Okay, maybe gonna do that. Nope. I was gonna do it over there. Terminal armor. Yeah, it sort of worked. <laughs> Getting a little warm. Should cool off a bit. I do have a heat sink uh, spare, but not using it yet. Alright, let's go get the stuff that I think I wanted to get, right? And uh, also explore the north side a little bit more first. Two things out there so far. Alright. Hmm. Hogging device, heavy gauss cannon, quarantine exit, right there. So really I can rip off our, we don't need the um, signal interpreter anymore. We can just pull that off. It's just a waste of a slot at this point. Although I'm going to need the slot shortly, I bet. Because we're going to remove the flight brick. I think we're going to remove the flight brick, right? Ooh, prototype launchers. I wonder what that is. It could be good launchers. Damn. Oh, wait. There was one. What? Huh. Where are you? Pretty far away, huh? Where the hell? <laughs> really? Oh, whoops. I need to follow the actual... Uh, I'm up there. Okay. E e That's pretty far away. Oh, interesting. There's a whole open area down there I didn't go to. Well, there is a way to identify stuff down there. Um, I wouldn't mind any of them, so I don't really care about that. Eh. Centrium leg. All right. Okay. I wanted to go. All right. So I found what I went for. Uh, the other thing I needed was okay. Just over here to the west is the arrays. Should be a behemoth to the north still. He's still up there. Yeah. Well. Wait a minute. Can I make it by him with it? What is our current collecting device? Is a three. Can I actually get there? Oh, I think we can make it by him without with our cloaking device activated. Let me see how right I am. Oh, oh, oh cloaking. Oh, yeah. Cloaked right by that guy. <laughs> also, he's about to find some friends. But anyway, um, yep. Cloaking device. Nuclear pulse array. What is it? Covered 60. Yeah, that's going to kind of hurt, huh? <laughs> Big difference. Uh, integrity 110 on that. So technically... Attaching these is still worse than the flight brick right now. Hmm. That's problematic. I could instead uh, replace stuff I've got and just carry them as uh, carry as spares for now. It probably makes sense to do that. Yeah, 60 versus 600, yeah. Well, it would also be two of them, but at the same time, yeah. I mean, just integrity-wise, they're they're just all around worse still, even though the flight brick is damaged, which is kind of crazy. Plus, of course, the flight brick is supporting extra util slots. But the other thing you got to remember is I am going to replace it because we've got to remember to take it off before the last floor anyway. But So I guess it's fine that it's lower on integrity. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to replace um, some inventory parts here.
I put this on, what does that do for us? Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> also, I'm still using the Biomex. I think part of it is it's... Um, is that 40 as 6th and last? 35, 8. Minus 1 energy on movement, plus 9 heat is a little hot. Hmm. Alright, now I got room. Double nuclear pulse array. Ready to replace. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess we got friends to the south. The other thing I need to find is that optical array, which is. There's still only one out there that we know about. And it is so oh, way over this straight south of us. Okay, head south out this room. Hey there, warlord and friends. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get hot too. Can turn this off. No, that doesn't actually. What is running our our? Uh, uh, let's see, energy heat. Mm, nothing else in specific running our heat here can tell uh, what's draining your heat with the energy readout by doubling that. You can see your heat readout. We don't see what's draining our heat. Nothing's really draining it else. Uh, we can swap in a heat sink then. I guess I could do that. Makes sense. Don't have to worry about that anymore. There we go. Negative heat. <laughs> oh, hello there, programmers. <clears throat> Experimental RCS. Oh, was there one? Shoot, didn't see that. Friggin' blind here. Um, oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, you identified it by because it's a prototype? Yeah, from the remains of something? Oh, to the northeast, I see. Yeah, this here. They also have their piercing weapon as corrupted. Protection, corrupted, 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 corrupted. Mm hmm. Let's see. Uh, programmers. Well, I'm trying to get down to there. Hmm. Fast three. Nice. Feels nice to have complete replacement for all this stuff, too. Oh, whoops. Also, I forgot I can turn this stuff on now. Oh, okay. He's down here. Oh, there he is. Hey, dude, there's like people fighting down here. Want to come help? <laughs> Uh, they're checking out the Gamma Bomb arrays. <laughs> well, anyway, we can circle around to the west then. Oh, they're fighting the Behemoth. Alright, I'll go this way then. Okay. Nice miss. I'm not going to go that way. I will attract these guys over to uh, Firepower. Nope, they're busy apparently. Oh, no, not busy enough. Here's one. Okay, here it comes. Don't shoot me. Ooh, time to fight a behemoth. A lot of prototype stuff down here. I'm just gonna wait here with my, uh... Wait here, cloaked. Oh, hunter. Yeah, we got a marauder. Found him. Oh, yeah. That was nice. <laughs> Beautiful seismics. Oh, nope, that wall's open now. I will hang out over here. Kill them all? All dead? Yes. It's nice having unlimited friends. <laughs> unlimited friends, unlimited loot. <laughs> Still, we have to remember the first time you could experience the warlord. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like it. I need to go, there will be more big events coming. Shoot, is this? Oh, yeah, I get to go all the way down here. Okay. Should be good. All right. Draining power, but that's okay. Mm, I guess I can go to the east. But yeah, big events are fun. I'm gonna add some more. All right, made it. Enhanced optical array. 
Boom. Hell yeah. Oh, now I can see even further. All right. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm not really looking for a whole lot of other stuff. Loot pinata friendo, yeah. Um, quarantine exit, so I can head back north. Okay, fine. We'll turn off the cloaking device. Don't need it right now. Did so far allow me to at least slip by a behemoth, though. Uh, okay, I'm gonna dragon coming from the west. Probably cleared this space out. But as you can see, now there's just like loot all over the place. Just tons and tons of items you can search through. <laughs> oh, a lot of stuff. And going up. Um, corrupted experiment RCS is worth holding on to and freeze uh, corrupted. Yeah. Mm. I've got um yeah. Oh wait, oh I have a free slot. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot I threw on the heat sink, which means I do have a free inventory slot. Oh, well it happens to be right next to me. That's true. Um, it could be. Oh, whoops. That is not what I wanted to press. That is what I wanted to press. Uh, Centrium Light. Yeah, I was thinking, I was actually thinking about that one earlier, but this one's damaged though. Well, it's probably got, um, I mean, what do I have? A 157 on mine. What is this gonna be? How much is on this? Let's find out. Okay, 324. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not bad. <laughs> Yellow Centrium still, yeah, that's pretty old armor I've been carrying around. But, yep, that's nice. That's something I like to pick up, even on almost any build going through here, is the armor off these guys. So, yeah, that's some good integrity. Coverage, not amazing, but it's better than not having armor at all. And still using Flight Brick for now. All right, anyway, then if, that's a good, that's one extra reason to go into quarantine is simply because we have the Flight Brick anyway still. It's like taking, can take hits and get finished off and then replaced. All right, uh, what else do I have here? Medium storage. Experimental heat sink is actually damaged. Hmm. Oops. Just do look for heatsink. Ah, oh, there are nowhere any experimental ones are. We only have locations on advanced heatsinks so far. I'm not sure if any prototypes bring experimentals in here on this floor. Mm. Also, it's kind of funny that I'm carrying around a triangulator, eh? It's for good luck. No machine analyzer. I'm seeing about replacing some of my other stuff soon enough. Plus five luck stat. That's right. No one knows about it but us. <laughs> Plus five luck from carrying around a triangulator. Oh. Well then. I do believe there's stuff down there. It's a nice shot. Damaged flight brick. Oh, there he is, the Annihilator, who's, oh, <laughs> he's harassing this boar bot here, which is kind of like just shrugging him off. That's cute. <laughs> Go watch him get hit a few more times. No friends. <laughs> more <laughs> boar bot, more like poor bot, so defenseless. Yeah, they don't send more escorts specifically for boar bots. Once they lose their initial groups. Only Warlord. Alright, so yep, that's pretty much it for here. We're going to head into the next area. And there will be some Warlord friends to play around with. One corrupted part. Yeah, I know. It's because we're going to quarantine. Uh, boom. Quarantine it is. Along with some friends to stir up trouble which is probably not great on this particular build it's not bad I think on regular builds but in this kind this situation they'll probably just cause more problems 
But if we can take advantage of it, maybe it's not a big deal. Also, hmm. Alright, we'll be okay. Alien energy cannon. Well, that's good. Although, I'm gonna have trouble bringing things out of here, and I? <laughs> I'm mainly here for consumables. an eye out there that makes a better program who <laughs> can't open it than triangles does that is true of course triangles is um only one slot all right let's see if we can find some stuff hmm I've been seeing a lot of people take those out lately. Oh, hello there, Garrison. <laughs> what a convenient location. I'm gonna hack into the back of your terminal here. No botnets, but... Not needed in this case. We're actually like a semi-hacker. Not a great hacker, but... Sort of... Capable of minimal hacking. Wow. Well, they can't see me anyway, but there's a regular terminal, one slides, one out in the open here. Cute. Oh, wow. <gasps> what? <laughs> this is like a terminal trap. <laughs> that was amusing. <laughs> I love how I'm, my favorite part is he destroyed the terminal. There's this one little terminal in this nook here. I'm like, cool, it's a nice terminal, and uh, ran right into it. And he blew the terminal up. That's hilarious. Um, okay. That's not cool. Hmm. Alright, gotta turn off cloaking. Um, or one of our pulse thrusters got hit there. Didn't even hit the flight brake. But flight brake's only 50%, so. Hate ambush traps, yeah. They're, they're the best. I hate them too. <laughs> well, I know what to do with these guys. Bring them back here. Come on. It's going to take a while, though, actually. I could lose them faster than I could bring them back to my friends here. <laughs> the such is flight. Oh, shoot. I forgot there's a swarmer. All right, I could definitely bring this guy back. Hey, guys, I got a friend for you. He's going to come through that door in just a second. Get ready for it. There he is. Get him. Yeah. Alright. Okay, good. He's dead. I don't really... The others I can just outrun. But I kind of wanted to go that way. But yeah, as long as they didn't get hammered, uh, we're fine. The, the main question is just if they get you on the first hit or not. Alright, they're coming through this way. Alright. Researcher down at the southeast. I think I'll wait here since they're close enough now. Finish him off. Oh, shoot. Alright, that's a little more attention than I wanted. Well, he's probably ruining those guys that are already there. He's giving updated info. That's it, though. That's my guess. Yeah. Kill him, too. <laughs> right, he's gonna run away, of course. Which is kind of bad, I guess, because then he's gonna... Nowhere over here, but... Uh, oh, they're gonna get him. Ooh. I think he went in there. They're chasing him to the west, which means I could... He's, there's a watcher in this room to the west here. Um, seismic overlay is quite good. Yeah, it is. It's uh, like ESP. <laughs> it's fun. It doesn't detect everything, but it detects, detects a lot of stuff. It's very useful. Um... Yeah, they found the watcher. Is he getting? He's, they're, they're gonna they're gonna pincer him up. He's dead. <laughs> so so far so good. Our friends are taking everybody out. This actually has been working out in our favor here. Okay, well he's a little far away. There's swarmers to the south still. Could head east anyway. Ignore that for now. Cloak real quick. Okay, well that was a bad trap. Not ambush. No ambush trap over here anymore. But also no terminal. Alright, found some more terminals. 
Whew, another electron diverter here. Oh. Hmm. Actually, technically, could replace one of the, our damaged pulse thruster with that. We just gotta be wary of excessive uh, energy drain overall, gradually working our way up here. Extra heat on that, three extra heat. I'm mm, gonna need to keep that heat sink attached. Um, extra support. Overall, that's pretty good actually. Then the same energy, just extra heat. So we can actually support that just fine. I mean, I, well, technically we're cheating right now, but I had the heat sink is plenty good, but we're in uh, quarantine, which is extra cold too. <laughs> so if I wanted to, I could replace that. <clears throat> and uh, have a little bit extra support even. Go electron diverter. Uh, oh, oh wow, uh, hmm, CAS. I have been wanting one of these. I feel like I'm gonna have too much stuff though. All right, now maybe I'll get rid of the triangulator. Yeah, we still have spare 13.8 heat exactly without the ambient. Yeah, I was looking at that math too. It's purely because I finally put on that experimental heat sink. So that's what I've been carrying that around for. Hmm. Although again, the build's gonna be kind of <clears throat> more wobbly once you get replace the flight brick. But so far, I eh, haven't really needed to worry about that. Anyway, I'm going to drop the triangulator and take a CAS. Um, finally. Limited inventory here. Security level one. Seriously? <laughs> okay. I'm going to do at least one botnet. And then... Um, hmm... I guess I'm. It wouldn't be too hard to find, but I'll do it anyway. There we go. Now we know where that is. It's on the south side. Um. Don't really need an index terminals here. Uh. <laughs> yes. I. You know. I when I as I was doing that, I I was wondering if what. I didn't know if anyone would comment, but I was pretty sure people would um, have uh, have something to say about that. Even if you didn't voice it, the fact that I put a botnet on a level 1 terminal. Mainly because there was no good direct hacks that I wanted to do immediately. Um, if there's a direct hack, that, then I'll go for that. But otherwise, mm, yeah, normally botnets are for harder terminals, but that's okay. Well, I assume we're going to get a lot because I've got all this hackware. I mean, look at this. I'm like, I've got too much hackware. I'm a, I'm a combat player with a lot of hackware. What else am I going to do? Uh, I could leave this open even for recalls or something, but not that I think we'll actually end up needing it. Uh, the other thing we'll do is index, but the <laughs> nebulae I bought in almost all terminals. So I'll only botnet a few, though. I only bother doing two, maybe three, if I've got nothing else to do, but... Whoops. <sighs> Uh, here we go. Um, but yeah, there is diminishing returns. Uh, uh, botnet, it passed the first uh, few, is kind of pointless. Mainly, want to go for the first two are really important. But yeah, if you don't know what else to do, or you don't have anything else, then whatever, but yeah. Okay, let's see. There's a lot of space. I need to explore the western side of this. Now I'm really wondering what my friends are up to. wonder if I should... I could go back over there real quick. There's a researcher. 112 men are just sitting there. Where do our friends go? They're still hanging out out there, huh? Hmm... Twelve minus twelve on the energy. <laughs> DPF says I recently found out about the diminishing turns. I still treat myself to two usually though. Yeah, two is two is a good number. <laughs> There's a hundred terminals on the floor. They'll eventually get to a hundred percent. This is theoretically true. One hundred, not really feasible. But all right, there's swarmers over there, as expected. Still energy warning. 
drop the reaction control. Uh, how does one naturally discover the hacking capabilities? Uh, the NP you learn them from NPCs. Yeah, they'll show up in Tab Auto Complete once the NPCs teach you about them. So you can gradually learn what each of them does. Trojan Track. Oh yeah, Trojan Track. Oh, you're right, Dosh. In fact, that's a good... Sp this would have been a perfect spot for it. Oh, Trojan Track over here to keep an eye on what's over there on the northeast corner. Yeah, I, I, I don't use it enough. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of hacks I don't use enough because I just don't remember them all. There's so many, but our friends are still alive here. Um, but yeah, I agree. Trojan Track is actually a really, really good hack. Oh, here's another one. We could clear this place out. All right, here comes an eye. Please don't shoot me. Oh no. Killed him. Killed them all. I'm gonna wait here while they kill each other. Hmm, we're gonna win this? Uh oh shoot, they're not gonna win. Oh, they're very close. This is nail biting. Oh man, they're so close. Ooh, we can see there's at least two more swarmers down there. They finished. They won. Oh, so close. This is pretty perfect, actually. Uh, the commands persist. Yeah, I mean it's just meta knowledge. Um, you can uh, you can learn them, uh, and you can enter them if you want. For spoilers, you can enter them all manually, and then they'll appear in your auto tab autocomplete from then on. So it's uh, just meta knowledge that you gain, learn gradually. All right. Well, these guys are this, this guy. Are these guys uh, is this guy. I think their legs are blown off. This guy's got two legs still. What about this dude? Are you missing your legs? <laughs> He's got legs too. What are you doing? <laughs> They're just kind of sitting around in here. Okay, whatever. I will ignore you and go this way. Actually, it'd be kind of nice to get an operator friend so you could find traps. A lot of stuff in here. Not a lot of good stuff, though. Yet. Got a seismic up ahead. All right, still got already got. I've got my spare seismic ready. Slightly damaged. Um, yeah, nothing else. Okay, leave it on that view. Oh, glad I didn't hit that. There's more traps out here. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Okay, no blowing up. Um, hello there. Anyway, so our friends are almost dead. But they've actually been a big help so far. Wow, this is an interesting area. Oh wow, I found CRM. Hmm, would there be a reason to use that? Uh, it sounds... I mean, there's the good reason to use it. Find out exactly what's out here. Oh yeah, also now we know where the exit is. It's down here. Mainly, to, the main reason to use that would be to look for, uh, to eat experimental RCS without corrupting. That's, that doesn't sound like an important reason. <laughs> that, that's an interesting indirect benefit, I guess. But, specifically, then everything would become unknown, which would be kind of annoying. Um, the other, the main advantage is we did immediately know about the artifacts, what they are and where they are, and can then make a decision on that. No, <laughs> I didn't qualify with important at first. Yeah, that is an advantage. MTF just accidentally filled a temp slot trying to auto-swap an armor. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing players wanting a warning for filling temp slots. Not gonna get that. It's, I already mentioned it, and I'm not adding that. But, um... Uh, you'll have to, uh, if you're gift temp slots, you need to fill more carefully. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's going to use your slots. If you've got slots, it's going to use them. Um, it's just the way it works. 
if you don't want it to use the slot, then uh, you need to play more carefully with it. The thing is, people are trying to save temp slots for as long as they can, but... I did come here to eat consumables. That is true, and this is a consumable. Now, part of the problem with that warning is it's actually super complex to do. Um, there's no way for the attachment to know that it's going to fill a temp slot part. Um, and the logic behind that would be just way too complicated um, to reasonably tackle. Um, because of the number of ways you could possibly try to fill a temp slot and the fact that it doesn't actually know it's going to fill a temp slot until all the possible slot calculations are done. Um, which means it would have to get all the way to the end of that state and then finally give up and go back and give a warning. And then, so it's, you know, in theory it could work, but it would be quite complicated. So it's not, it's something I'd prefer to just say, no. <laughs> Um, because it's uh, it's just uh, it's just a lot of complications and um, something I think that if you're gonna play around with temp slots, you should be pretty careful about what you're uh, what you're gonna put into them. I mean, and, and including stuff you don't want to put into them. If you've got temp slots, it's be careful <clears throat> um, for that reason. No confirmation required. Uh, I like the theory of it. Um, something like that, but the thing about Cogmind and slots, you know, remember Cogmind was built without temp slots in mind as well, and so the idea about all the things that can occupy and do stuff with your slots, they don't know about what temp slots really are. Um, it's allowed to put stuff into any available slot. Um, uh, I mean, what other kind of alternative could there be? Um, I guess actually now that I think about it, an alternative like a completely different alternative would be to perhaps block temporary slots from every use except for manual assignment. But that's, even that doesn't completely work because it's impossible to manually assign something in Cogmind slot-wise, in fact. For example, when you drag drop something, I know some people like to, for example, you've got an empty slot here and you want to drop something on top of that slot. It actually doesn't matter where you drop the part. You can drop the part anywhere in the parts box. It's going to go where it wants to go. doesn't matter um, where you're putting it. And the same thing goes with when you're uh, attaching via keyboard. If you just attach a part, which is done through a single, single keyboard command, you're not specifying a target for that. It goes wherever it wants to go. Um, so... Maybe one option could be, though, to pre... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure about the logic of that either. I don't, I'm not sure it would work. And, of course, it would make the whole system even more complex. But, yeah, for, in short, my general answer is don't plan on doing that. But, anyway. Hey, Nanproof, welcome to the stream. You did catch it. We are still in the, only the middle. Um, You won't do that again, self-correcting problem. <laughs> no, MCF will do it again. So will other people, I'm imagining. <laughs> A light ion engine? Yeah, I remember I remember somebody mentioning that. Was that oh oh your deep field, right? Now I see from your uh um DPF there, deep field. Yeah, I remember you did that before. <laughs> that rip run has sufficiently made me get good since. <laughs> yeah. It is a mistake you probably only make once, and temp slots are at the beginning of the game anyway, but... Oh, MTF said he... <laughs> is are, are, are MTF and I arguing across our streams here? <laughs> MTF said he's going to argue with me about it. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, chat, let's go over to MTF stream and just type get good all at once. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so back to the game at hand. Diversion there with temp slots. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so CRM here. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree. If it's something that was easier, it was easy enough. The thing is, I think it would interfere with other normal operations, too. It's not just hard. It was whole interfere with expected behavior in other cases. And that's the kind of stuff that I'm kind of, oh, I like to avoid, um, is messing with anything that exists. But eh, if it was doable, I could look at it again. You know, once, like, the 100th person complains. That's not to encourage anyone to complain, but... <laughs> It's not something I would plan on doing in the near term either way. There's a lot of other things to do. Super busy. 
uh, our flight break does flight break does give temp slots. In fact, that's why I have you know I would have preferred to not have a temp, to improve targeting computer. A targeting computer is nice to have, but I don't need an improved targeting computer. It's pretty crappy, and I didn't I haven't really been fighting at all anyway. So it's not something I would have put into that slot. But to be honest, I attached these things in this, these temp slots back when uh, I was in danger and didn't had to just throw the other stuff on anyway. So. It ended up getting some random stuff, but it's actually turned out well because they lasted a long time. They're all things with low coverage. The only thing we might have lost is seismic, and so far that's just been damaged once. That's it. So, overall, pretty good. Okay, so do I want to eat the CRM or not? Uh, I can see bad things about that. What is, um... No, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's true. I hit, I hit A as well. Eat it, isn't it? Uh, what does chat think? Did we eat the CRM here? <laughs> Lyra, yes, Lyra with the smart move. Eat the uh, experimental RCS first. That is true. Why not eat it is the question. Eh, yeah. I, um, may, I guess the only reason not eat it is just kind of annoying because it makes things unidentified. And I can't identify parts anymore. That's one of the main reasons. Otherwise, yeah, there's no reason other than that, pretty much. Hmm. <laughs> Why to eat it is so nebula what it is, right? Okay. Um, Alright, fine, we'll eat it. For science. Uh huh. Well, not much science involved, but <laughs> we know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, fine, here we go. We're gonna place our. Uh, yes. Boom! We just got 1% corruption! How terrible. Boom. Okay, we ate it. Yeah, no known exits. Sure. Whatever you s whoops. Uh turn that off. Uh do 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 <laughs> Also the NEM oh yeah, actually wait, what is out here now? We can find uh wait, unknown device. Oh I haven't moved yet. We can find NEM. I would like to find NEM. I wouldn't mind that. I actually was thinking about it before we came in here. I was like, it'd be kind of fun to get the NEM. <laughs> Alright. Where did the map go? Yeah, the map's gone now. It disappeared. Oh, oh, Dosh says I saw the NEM ending. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> that got mentioned in chat not long ago. Uh, before It was actually after Beta 13 released. But before I did one of the patches, it got mentioned in chat, and I said, Okay, that's a cool idea. It sounds like something I'd write in my notes, and then maybe never get around to. So instead, I'm just going to do it right now. And so I did it right now when chat mentioned it. And so it went out with the next patch. Um, I believe it was. Thought it was funny. Um, yeah, I, I liked that. <laughs> it was a cool idea. Yeah, here's our log there. Wiping memory core reset. We're now reset. Um, okay. Um, now, what was I doing? I don't even remember. I'm reset in real life, too. Okay, so we, have, we can put back on a new RCS here. Um, and there we go with our ping. Detected 13 artifacts in vicinity. Sigix Terminator to the north. I guess we knew that. Um, the such exterminator might be kind of fun to grab. <laughs> Subatomic replicator. Uh, phase armor. Okay, we found the uh, reconstructors. Hmm. DNI room to the south. Core cannon. Yeah, we passed that up. We knew about that. Matter drive. I'm, how, how, are, is anyone using matter drive these days? Or is it uh, just too costly? Oh, sounds like t Telly Room because of all the high number. Not since I mega nerfed it, no. <laughs> huh. That's 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 unfortunate. There's no NEM out here. I was hoping for that. Phase redirector. Oh wait, actually we know NEM can only appear in section seven, is it? Or the quarantine, I forgot. Sheesh. I have not been in research branches in forever. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, it must be in section 7, exactly. So maybe I should go there. Actually, I don't even... Wait, do we know where section 7 is? I don't actually know where it is. Hmm. It means it could be on this depth. Can't tell. Um, hmm. Oh, section 7 has to be here because quarantine is native to... Ah, good point! Lyra points out the logic of that, yeah, section 7 has to be here. So we could go into section 7. Yeah, and get NEM there. I mean, we get CRM now, which means we could find it. Maybe that's a whole reason to do it, then. Um, <laughs> going after NEM, just for fun, really. I mean, just because it's a fun item. All right, we should also get some teleporters, just in case. In fact, teleporters and DNI would be cool to do in Section 7. All right, so I don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Subatomic replicator is also cool. Um, but oh, too bad the flight brick is damaged, huh? Or this much damage to get another flight brick? <laughs> That's actually an interesting idea. Oh wait, no, I can't get another flight brick. What am I talking about? I can't remove. I can't re replicate something you can't remove. Um, okay, me thinking slowly. Uh, ah, we could make a. Hmm, could make a group teleport. <laughs> Dosh says, NEM is funny, you have high sec on flight, you break all the trackings and there's a billion ARCs just wandering around. That sounds like a small nightmare. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so let's see, we need... How many slots can I make? Could drop some other stuff like ECM. Technically seismic, we could get a replacement seismic later. I just kind of really like having that uh, replacement ready. Component analysis. The main reason I wanted component analysis was to identify artifacts. So I guess I don't actually need to carry that anymore. Um, as much as I also wanted to use it to identify prototypes uh, earlier. Um, the main reason I wanted it was artifacts, even though, yeah, even though it's not hard to usually to figure out what most of them are. Oh, CS doesn't end up with artifacts. All right. Yeah, I guess I was just thinking about it from before. Hey, Red Banker, welcome to the stream. All right. Uh, I guess I could drop the CAS then. CAS and that. And we could free up some slots here to grab some stuff. So I guess we want to go south for that. And then also, I guess we're not going to take the regular the exit, even though I know where it is now. We're going to go to Section 7. Might as well. Phase redirector is also a heavy thing. Subnome of a replicator. To replicate anything. Time to reuse the machine analyzer. Ho. Oh. Hmm. Good thing I had my cloaking on. Actually, it probably didn't make a difference yet, but there's a swarmer. There's swarmers to the west now. With cloaking on, they can't see me here. But I will run low on power. I wonder if I could head south. Nope. Oh, I don't know if there'd be a room just south. Shoot. I do want to head south, though, to get some teleporters real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you still have a flight break. It is still alive. Surprisingly. I guess I'm going to wait right here just for a little bit. I'm mainly waiting to see if those swarmers go away. Hey, the swarmers went away. Nice. All right. Uh, range on them. I don't can't quite get around the corner. Yet. Oh, that was fast. Okay, let's go around the corner. Boom. Cloaking. I love being cloaked. Unknown, 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 unknown. All the unknowns. So many unknowns. Hello there, Mr. Researcher. Alright, um, let's see, DNI, I could take a DNI just for fun, I don't necessarily need it, but it sounds like a fun thing to do too, maybe I'll do that. Oops. <laughs> yep, I'll get you eventually. <laughs> God! <laughs> no, no one's shooting these, it wasn't me. Oh shoot, actually that's not enough. 
<laughs> oh, wait, no, it is. What am I talking about? DNI. Here we go. Give me one of these. DNI. I will trade you. I'm going to leave something for this researcher in return. I will give you my component analysis suite. There, you can have my component analysis suite. Is there a way that Cogmine chassis becomes a two by two big robot like the beast? Uh, parts that come back storage about. Oh, um, uh, you can do that only in Polymind, one of the events. But technically, it's doable in the engine, but not in the regular game at present. Mm. All right, let's get this and. Uh, Could grab another one. Tough call on some of these other things, though. Like ECM might be helpful later. I mean, everything might be helpful. Advanced shield generators also going to be probably kind of nice to have. Um. Who needs ECM if you want NEM? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that is actually a very good point. That's a good reason to drop that. Okay, we'll drop that. <laughs> I found a reason to drop it. Okay, let's take this uh, transdimensional reconstructor and head out here. Also, there's the we can duplicate stuff over here to the northeast. If you get that. Hmm. Oh, mega negative energy here. Turn off the reaction control. Turn off cloaking as well. And wait a second. Regain some energy. Turn back on cloaking and head north. I already have a botnet out. Alright, um... Might as well get some prototype IDs. It is direct hack. Duping NEM would be wonderful. Uh, that's an interesting idea. Oh. Just trying to find out what was behind the wall up there in the north. Actually, I kind of want to find out what's out to the east, really. It would be nice to get around. Oh, they don't give you that. Hmm. Alright, well, this is the direct act I wanted. You will be found. Not much out there. There's five smart bombs in one of these conveyors which has no escort. <laughs> I already did layout zone. I did I fail it though? On the other terminal I failed. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, I succeeded on the first try? How come I didn't see anything up here on the map? What do you mean? I didn't succeed. What? Yeah, that is a good terminal to use. I didn't succeed. Wait a minute. What? Oh, I did succeed. Oh, really? Um. Oh, you're right. I did succeed. What? All right. Yeah, I didn't get enough sleep last night. <laughs> As I mentioned, there are earthquakes. The one of the ones last night was big enough to shake me awake. Got up in the middle of the night. You neither did I. <laughs> you didn't notice. The what? No. Oh, I didn't get enough sleep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pagels. I didn't see it either. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it is what it is. Ugh. Anyway. Okay. Um. Yeah, I didn't. One of the, part of the reasons I didn't notice is because what I normally look for when I come out of doing a layout zone is actually getting the data. But there is nothing for it to give us the layout for because I already know all that stuff. Which means I guess it didn't show. Uh, which means there is no easy way across through here at all. We have to go all the way back north to get to the east. That's what I was trying to confirm, because I don't have any other data, um, terrain data.
toggling my cloaking here. What is that? It's probably the hauler, right? Yeah, okay. This guy might have a bunch of smart bombs. Anyway, I need to head north. But we have better visual range on most everything, so the only problem is turning corners. Like this one. There's a Sigix Terminator in here. That would also be fun. Brayden Flight Brick hasn't died yet, so I've got four of my inventory slots waiting to replace it. Replicator. So, in a replicate, uh... Oh, that's right. People are talking about replicating NEM. That sounds so chaotic. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Having an argument on whether small, medium laser assault rifles have better sounds in Discord. <laughs> I mean, it depends on whether you like Daka Daka or Pew Pew, right? <laughs> Big difference. All right, anyway, so what I was thinking of here is do I want to take the uh, replicator? And if so, what was I going to replicate? I guess we could replicate NEM just for fun. If we're going to do that, then let's... Uh, hmm. I guess it means... So, I mean, the shield generator is kind of important. Maybe I should drop seismic. I mean, you can find a replacement. It's, it's kind of harder to find a replacement for seismic, though, than it is for, for example, structural scanner. Um, especially the later you get. The later you get, the harder it is to find replacement seismics, which is kind of funny because there's literally more in the room next to us, but it's just more rare. Um, and I find them extremely useful. They're my one of my favorites uh, for Infowar, single slot Infowar. So the other option is to drop the shield generator, which, and I'm not even questioning the fusion bomb. You would need that in case, just in an absolute emergency with swarmers. Um, but the shield generator is kind of like, hmm. Pew pew noise. No tunnelers in C? Yeah, it's it's in oh in C at all, yeah, there wouldn't be any there for sure. <laughs> shield gen shield gen is hard to support, it's true. Uh, actually I only have two hundred and ten. Yeah. It is hard to support. I was mainly I was only planning on using it, for example, if we end up with a situation where we're gonna get shot a few times in need, uh, and wouldn't and want to block some of that damage, because they don't have any shielding. So shield generator kind of helps in that regard, especially once the flight brick's gone mainly thinking about the flight brick being gone for that and I mean it's cheap enough to run it's not that expensive at least mainly because it only blocks a little bit but mm. but yeah it's probably the most thing uh, probably what I would most likely drop here we'll do that and, as, and again it's not required but I'm doing it mainly for fun there's the access exit we know about taking this right here you're mine subatomic replicator it is and there's a terminal right there uh, search patrol really huh hmm. um oh what wait what oh this is an artifact never mind i forgot this one has its own thing all right fine all right terminal's kind of far away we're not gonna go that way then Okay, we're cloaked. Um, more patrols just came out. Warble, warble noises, that's right. <laughs> okay, this time we got a real zone layout, which is going to give us info. Um, I guess I don't want to run into traps. Okay, no traps, that's, that's information too. Workers, builders, recyclers. Yeah, there's not even any tellers, tunnelers here. Not the kind of thing you find in research branches. Um, <clears throat> surveillance patrol. One patrol out there. Hmm. All right, that's helpful. 
Ah, uh, shoot. There it is. Look at that. It must be down here. Alright. Okay, well, it's known. Look, our, our, the maintenance info gave us the direction to uh, quarantine here. <laughs> I mean, not to quarantine. It's section 7. Maintenance tunnel. <laughs> hey, oh, my God. This flight brick is still somehow attached to Gogmine. Yes, it is. I have not yet lost it. Alright, so I guess that means we don't have to head north then. Are you being tempted by Chad to go in the Forbidden Zone? No, no, I, I'm, that doesn't require any tempting at all. We're, I'm headed there intentionally to eat NEM. That was my idea. <laughs> I can tempt myself. Thank you. Dev hacks to guarantee NEM. <laughs> no Dev hacks. Only NEM. All right, now I just don't want to meet anything flying. Also, I don't know what... Okay, there's nothing that way. Oh, frick, there's a watcher up ahead. <laughs> ah! Uh, I don't want that to alert anything. To be honest, guaranteeing any is the opposite of dev hacks, dev nerfs. Is it, though? Is it, though? Here's the next to four lines we can't see out the stream window where RNG is manipulated in real time. <laughs> hmm. I kind of want to let that watcher get closer, but I also don't want... Man, it's hard to tell, so, tell right now. Alright, there's watcher. He's not alerting anyone. Ah, there's a researcher over there. Yeah, figures. Alright, watcher. Come on over here. What I don't want him to do is alert something in this room to my south. Which at the most would be a sentry, probably. I just need him to get out of range of that researcher, and then I'm going to kill him. Yep, take one more step forward. Never mind, I'll take a step forward. And you die. Shoot, I missed. Okay, fine. Just go that way. I don't care. Why not run past him? Uh, mainly because I wasn't sure what was up ahead. Um, he can have a view. I'm not jamming him. He has a view on me. But I don't have a view on what's necessarily for a little further behind him. His range extends a little bit further than my own. Okay, we should be good now, though. <sighs> um, if he was already in view, I wasn't in view of... Oh, was it? Was he already in, in view? Oh, yeah, I guess he'd seen me already, though. Whoops. Alright, time to get shot. Maybe. You know the flight lure strat for this? Uh, I was just gonna fly right by him. Flight lure strat? What, to make him move? Or actually shoot something else to alert him? Or... What? Partial spot? Oh, partial spotting to get him to move. Um, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. That's a good That's a good strategy. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can get by with one fewer shot most of the time. Sometimes zero shots if fast enough. Ooh, fast enough. Hmm. All right, time to overload. Yeah, that's what I was just about to do here. Whoops, I only have one overload. What is it? It goes from, wow, it goes from, oh, okay, this is 20, 24 to 20. Not amazing. I've only got one overloadable right now. He's like 160. Yeah, what, 20. Hmm, all right, Let's see what happens. Go, go, go. Oh, I need to also turn on my other stuff. The thing is I'll run lower on power. Let me see. We want reaction control, 12.5. Yeah. I don't know, I might be able to wait, but... Wow, this guy lost a wheel for us. <laughs> we are currently Hacker Sprinter. Nice. Goodbye. Yep. Gonna cloak a little bit here, just in case there's something coming from up ahead. Doesn't look like there is. Okay, we're good. You know what this corridor needs? Traps.
Oh, Yumika says no. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I don't know. I like the idea of traps in this corridor. Hmm. Or... Or other stuff? I don't know. Other... Other... Uh, things other than fortress only fortress too right <laughs> what do you mean other stuff <laughs> Is that not enough? no no i mean like or other other kinds of small garrisons posted here or something i don't know it seems like that might be kind of interesting laser turrets that pop up from underground hmm i got 12 hacker trackers in this hallway seems balanced no just some other stuff this is the consequence of a kid's playing flight. Yes, you must stop me from playing flight. <laughs> At all costs. <laughs> uh, no one can stop this run. The game gave me flight brick. I shouldn't have told you this chat. No, it has nothing to do with that. Seriously. I just always kind of felt that way just from general. Even just running past. Uh, it has not, nothing to do with the strat in, sp in particular. I just mean making this corridor overall a little scarier. <clears throat> I mean, considering, you know, it's already got Fortress, yeah, but Fortress is not exactly that scary. It's more of a, I don't know, Fortress is kind of like a, a cool jump scare type thing, but, you know, what if it could be out more, what if Fortress, I don't know, what if this quarter was wider too? Like Fortress is out kind of like in the middle, make it kind of like extension-ish, where there's maybe some side areas as well. But in Fortress is more in the middle. That seems kind of neat. Oh, this corridor's pretty scary on slow prop. Eh. Yeah, then the main problem... That's the thing. The main thing that makes this corridor scarier is dispatches that happen while you're here. Because there's nowhere to escape. Which actually would be somewhat mitigated if there were side areas. Which is what I'm kind of talking about, is adding a little more extension type stuff to it. <clears throat> and make it so that it's not 100% linear, which is, yeah. But uh, other than that, the, even slow prop can just literally just run by fortress and just keep going. You take a few hits, yay. You ever got an armor, who cares, right? Um, the main thing that's kind of scarier is you've run into groups of stuff, in which case you probably, hopefully, are pulling out your launcher and taking care of it and whatnot, but it is different. Stasis traps here, please no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking of anything in particular. Just thinking of a way to make it... Mm, <clears throat> I don't know. or Just a, overall a little more challenging for most builds in a more fa in a fair way as well, though. But And the... Uh, yeah. And the... <laughs> then you get to the exit and get jump scared by a Q guard you forgot about. Yeah. <laughs> Oimika's just trying to cut me off here. 15 layers of alarm traps that summon 12 arcs from the exit. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing specific. Just an idea I was having. Alright. Alright, we're going. Uh, anything else I need to do when I go in here? No. Oh, wait. Oh, sh oh never mind. I'm just going to give it back. I was going to say energy, but yeah. We get our energy back for free. Alright, we're in a 7. Buffing this exit does seem fine, though. Intercept clock is the scariest part. Everything else is whatever. Yeah. And it seems like it could just be more interesting. We'll see, because actually in beta 15, there's going to be more stuff happening out here. So maybe at that time, it'll end up being, uh, it'll end up being partially revisited. We'll see. Out here. Yes. Okay, oh, we get to find stuff. Core membrane. Oh. Well, core membrane is pretty decent. Micro warp drive. Space fold activator. Damn. I don't see an NEM, though. Where's an NEM? Core regenerator. Integrated dissipator. Navigation efficiency matrix. Thank you, DevX. Drained L cannon, which I've never picked up, clearly. Dimensional reconstructor matter drive, the regular shear guns. Okay. Oh, by the way, we're in like really spoilery territory right now, if anybody didn't know. <laughs> this is redacted areas. Um, another CRM. 
uh, LRC insulator and energy well. Basically all this stuff is overkill. The only time anyone has ever been excited for NEM. No way. Is, NEM gets a lot of, I mean, people like to diss it, but then other people are like, hey, it saved my run, right? Of course, NEM could also be the reason that your run needed saving in the first place. <laughs> uh, I don't know. NEM suddenly seems like a bad idea, but combined with micro warp drive. Well, man, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to fit all this stuff. I'm going to fit all this stuff. Well, whatever. Let's go north. I'm gonna cloak my way in here. I'm not gonna be able to identify anything. <sighs> Ooh, wow. That was lucky. <sighs> How many more of those are in here? Core membrane with an S7 guard. Oh, that's right. I don't really want to mess with the S7 guard. Um, and he reminds me too much of teleportitis and Nedhack and Adon. Well, I mean, it's, that's what it is. The internal name for NEM is literally teleportitis, <laughs> or the effect of NEM. It's called teleportitis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a sign you should eat this, the, the membrane. Right, this is an item, uh, item to eat, right? This is an item to eat run. We're in a hunger run. Micro warp drive. Hmm. Maybe I should come back and grab this after we have NEM. Where's NEM? It's not that far away. But do you get teleport control? No, you don't. <laughs> uh, okay. Whoops. Just dig with the neutron? Yeah, I know. I could. That's what I was planning on doing. Very safe? It's pretty safe, yeah. It's quite safe considering the turn difference. Whoops. Oh, whoops. Press the wrong key there. Ooh, one over weight. Micro warp drive. Hmm. Two slots, though. But, I mean, it is obviously very cool. Maybe I could drop my hackware. <laughs> Get rid of my hackware and put on micro warp drive instead. <laughs> Actually, flight, like, doesn't need this so much, quite as much, though. It's just, it's cool. Space fold. I wonder if I can get there this way. My, oh, micro warp's heavy too? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's part of the reason. Oh, mass six? That's not heavy. I can carry mass six. We make it said 10 mass. <laughs> Wrong row! <laughs> 10 is the old MD? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to say, how are you getting that wrong? Oh, that's not good. In fact, it's very bad. There's literally a heavy over here? Man, well, okay, it's not surprising, but it's over by the NEM. What am I going to do about a heavy? Hmm. Just NEM your way out of the cutters? Yeah, or into the cutters. Oh my god, this is going to be kind of funny. Space Fold Activator is also very cool. I love the Space Fold Activator. It's just a fun item. All right, maybe I'll actually grab this right now then. Let's grab this right now. Sounds like a DNI problem. I was well, I want to find the exit for that actually. How does NEM trigger? It's random. It's just basically you're gonna start teleporting randomly everywhere, which is gonna be good and bad and funny. Um Yeah, teleports in front of you. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> That's why I kinda of want the micro warp drive so I could immediately escape any trouble. I think I'm gonna rip off some hackware and grab this instead and put it on right now. Sounds like a good idea, right? I'm I'm a good flight hacker. I'm not even gonna ask for chat's opinion on that. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> no opinions. Micro drive. Actually, what's the coverage on that? Huh. Wow, my my this thing's even like armor. This is like flight armor. Hmm. Sounds cheesy. Also, I really need to remember to drop flight brick before I leave this map. Bad armor? Well, but if you also want the micro warp capabilities, it's literally... I'm not like saying it's actual armor. Of course, it's going to be worse than the Centrium Light. Uh, it's actually not that much worse. It's, I mean, <clears throat> it's armor that teleports you, man. That's cool. It's true, though. It's not normally something Flight needs. Oh, wait. Well, I should check what's over here. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, God. 
Now he's sitting right next to a processor, too. Huh. Well, where the I wonder how to access... Oh, wait, never mind. That's there. Oh, he's on the other side. Hmm. Micro went right in his face. You know what? I was thinking of doing that. Um, wait a minute. Does that... That counts as an action? No. Does this count as an action? I actually don't know. Warp instantly. Oh, yeah. It also take damage. Two damage to the core. Well, I don't need my core. Um, yeah, I think I should go straight there. Oh, it's 100 TUs? Okay, so it is an action. 100 TUs. That means I will get shot. I don't want to get shot. Not by a heavy. He can literally, like, blow something important off immediately. Or, like, three things off. Is that what you're trying to get to happen here? <laughs> uh, this doesn't seem like a good idea. He could miss. That's always possible. Could put on RCS and Micro Warp over there. You have real armor? Uh-huh. Oh, that's true. I do have real armor. He only blow off one thing per shot. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Space fold is the thing that lets you go through walls, yeah. <laughs> Deep field. Hang on, let me grab some popcorn. Heavy planning to remove your flight brick. Yeah, that's... Well, I don't really mind losing the flight brick anyway, so we'll risk it. All right, I'm going to turn on the RCS, and I'm going to warp right next to this guy. This is such a bad idea, by the way. Don't do this at home. Oh, my God. Okay, he missed me. I'm glad I didn't go further, maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. I almost went down this entire corridor. You're going to be kidding me. Look how long this is. I only got stopped by a robot. <laughs> I went right past what I was aiming for. <laughs> God damn it. How am I going to get the NEM? <laughs> uh, hmm. Now go back left. <laughs> I go back left all the way right through the door. You have his attention? Yeah, but I don't think my... His attention is not going to do anything for me. He can't, I can't keep his attention. He's a freaking heavy. This is, does nothing. Oh, wait. It, what if I take a step forward and then micro-warp into his face? Oh, but if it takes... Uh, it takes one action, though. That might not be good. He'll be... I think Space Wolf Room can micro warp straight into any M without aggroing the heavy. Um, I mean, it could actually space fold your way over there. It's true. I don't. He's probably in an open junction. There's a corridor to the south of him or something like that. It's really hard to tell. I don't have any. Uh, yeah, the other idea anyway was to go move one space north and then micro warp straight into his face, which is kind of weird, but um, it's kind of interesting too. We need combat log to tell you to use. We need to know if it's safe to move. And uh, face, face, face. This is such a bad idea. <sighs> right. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Lyra. That's what I was thinking too. Um, I just think that thinking that you need to go all the way down over, down back around to the south to grab that and then go over. But the thing is, that you just remain in heavy range the entire time anyway. Hmm. How many <laughs> runs of chat absolutely destroyed? <laughs> eh, not not really any total destructions, I don't think, overall. And it usually turns out okay. It's just a question of how okay. This is pretty dangerous though. Freaking heavy. Heavy's annoying. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna move north one space. How much with twenty four I can drop it down to twenty. Just right, minimal turns here. Okay, now we know. Yep. This is not a corridor to the south. And he didn't get to shoot me. Whew. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure to make one good suggestion with one bad suggestion to remain neutral. <laughs> now go up. I'll definitely get shot if I go up. Why go up when I just go down and then micro warp? Well, I don't know. This is kind of problematic, to be honest. All right, that space hole looks like it's in the room to the southwest. Oh, he's looking left. What? <laughs> you go into the room, he wastes a turn shooting the door. Uh, he's There's a good chance he's going to shoot me right away before I even get through the door. I can only move at 24. I already spent... Uh, well, let me, actually, no. Is this, is this, you, oh, you WMD in. Oh, okay. I wasn't actually thinking about that. You're right. I forgot about going through doors with this. That's pretty cool. I 
MW D strats. Yeah, I completely forgot about this. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, a lot of prototype launchers. Hmm. Lure him around the machine for free. Um, yeah. Cogmine goes supersonic. Gotta love the micro warp drive. It's cool. We're losing core, but obviously that's a normal thing. Oh, thank you for that. Aren't you glad you WMDs in his face? I am. It did actually turn out. I got some intel from it. Yeah, I needed the, I needed the intel of what was at his junction, which is really helpful. I don't know how to get to the NEM yet. I'm not sure if I want to dig south, east. Maybe, maybe I can. Let's try digging first. Insert hunters from the right. Oh yeah, what are those? What are those dots over there? Well, I have cloaking. I'm gonna just cloak and go over there anyway. That's an enforcer. Okay, it's not terrible. But it is actually a problem. Well, no, I've got cloaking. With cloaking, it's not a huge issue. I can still go east and check this room real quick. Yes. Well. Yeah. All right. Fifteen. This is current distance. Energy-wise, how much does this cost to fire? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. God damn it! Can you not do that? Why you gotta be guarded? Of course, any of course, of course, it's guarded. Duh! I can't get in there very easily this way. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, well, that's unfortunate. Shoot, that's a big problem. Hmm. Could move over to the east. Yeah, it's true. I could melee shoot in, melee and get the hell out. It's possible. I just moved. I hope I can hit this. I can't. I'm bad. I made it. Yes. Okay. Um. Don't forget your tasty dupe. Oh, yeah. I've completely forgot about that already. You're right. All right. Duped NEM. We're going to do it. All right, so that's the whole reason I brought it. Okay, let's... Um, so now I can attach the replicator immediately. Let's see. Let's uh, throw something on here. Um, cloaking device for subatomic replicator. I am serious. You, you think I'm not serious? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we used it. We now have two NEMs. Yes. It does make you jump even more, Dodge. <laughs> All right. Now, what I don't want to do is use this and then... Um, and have it make me leave this room immediately. It doesn't make you leave the room immediately, right? I forgot how quickly it, it goes. It doesn't proc right away. Okay, making sure. Okay. I just want to make sure it's not going to take me away from this other one, because otherwise I have to drop something first. Okay. Yep. All right. And if, as you can see now, this was added a while now ago now, but there's an NEM in the UI which shows you that you have currently have NEM. That was, that was a while ago. I think it's the other one that was new. That's right. More recently, I added ITN to the end. Now, if you get an ITN, it will mark it up here as well in your temperature row for feedback. All right. Um, okay. So, pretty sure it starts at zero counter. Yeah, clearly does. Um, the heavy did forget, but I'm still inside his range, which is bad. <laughs> I could get him to call specialists, but honestly, I'd just rather get the hell out of here. What else do I actually need? Space hold activator would actually be pretty fun um, if I could grab that. But getting that is a little more problematic. Yeah, <laughs> you'll leave his range when you NEM. <laughs> this is true. Oh, also, there's the core membrane back there, so I should grab that, too. Let's grab the core membrane. Also, let's see. Oh, there's IR. Wait a minute. I could repair the flight brick. Didn't think of that. 
Now here I am trying to get ready to replace the flight brake. Can I repair it? There's a core physics recalibrator there. Good grabbing the uh, the CM. Oh, that what it there? Oh, you mean because of NEM? Eh. Alright, what else do I actually want? Terrabomb's kind of fun, too. Um, and Oh, the other stuff was, that's right, all out here as well. The uh, There's more IRs. There's insulator and energy well. Both of those are actually good. That's true. The other thing, though, that I can kind of work with is the fact that I have um, micro warp, right? All right, this is going to be interesting. If I head north, he just moved. Can I do this safely? What else am I missing here? I don't have cloaking on. I don't need any of that. I don't actually need cloaking on. Oh, you know what I could do is I can in intentionally teleport myself, but maybe I'll just wait. Is this like a net hack where you sleep for 300 turns of waiting to teleport your fault? It is clear. certainly not since you're still under some pressure here. Can't can't wait. Not in Cogmind. Um, I kind of think we could teleport. We could warp north and then west. Just to get into the proper area. That, I think that might be a smart move. We're going to get shot once though? Actually, man, I didn't think about that. What if I had originally saved this, the replicator? It's a smart thing to save the replicator for... Imagine, well, no, you know, you know what? I don't want to repair the flight pick. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking of too many things at once here. Anyway, I don't want to repair the flight pick because I need to get rid of it. But I could, I could, no, I couldn't do that. Never mind. Anyway, MD up is worse. Fly up then, oh, oh, you don't, oh, you think? Is it? I mean, the main, oh, time-wise, I guess, one, two, three, yes, and similar. Let me see if we can manage this. Yeah, that might be better. Let's do this. Oh, whoops, I need to turn that off again. I forgot I had it on. Okay. Alright, can I make it? That is the big question. Finally got it, for once. Well, <laughs> I was about to grab it. <laughs> I was very close to grabbing it. <laughs> oh, because says you knew that was about to happen. Uh, you know the numbers? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, it yeah, it felt like it was close. Um. Okay, slightly unfortunate. Friggin' NEM. Well, anyway. Wait, what is this here? 14. 16. Alright. Shoot, I don't have my cloaking. I didn't think I needed it on just yet, but if I had cloaking on right now, that would be helpful. Alright, um... Well, I was close. I almost touched it. <laughs> Alright, is there anything I actually need down here? Prototype flight unit, not gonna figure out what that is. <sighs> uh, micro up is worse than fly up? Oh, I wasn't going up, I was gonna micro down. I'm, I'm going down, not up. Give up that early and giving up and just going south for now. <laughs> I'll go back, don't worry. <laughs> I'll go back. Unfortunately, uh, the sad thing is, I'd, if I had cloaking already active, that would have worked. It didn't work though because my cloaking was not active. Give up on uh, on neutron? What? Okay. Hmm. 
50 percent hmm 20 matter hmm anyway not gonna hurt something is trying to keep me from grabbing artifacts i don't know what it is <laughs> but <laughs> something i think i need to use my micro warp when i really really want something <laughs> oh this is pretty interesting all right um Man, it says I needed another botnet. See that? Should have put a botnet on that terminal, actually. Oh, hello there, ARC. I don't think micro warp could have saved you. I just mean crossing any distances, any significant distance, just to save time. It could help. Anyway, I'm gonna like forget that I'm trying to go for something at the moment. Oh, okay. I don't want to go that way. That means micro warp is gonna send me that way, and then what's to the east? Never mind. I guess I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make it? Oh, I was one step away. So close. <laughs> Alright, what is that here? Oh, the CPC. I don't need that. Uh, where'd that ARC go? That was so close that time. Not gonna make it through there. Oh, hello there. Oh, there's a Cyclops over there. I don't want to go that way. Alright. Um, that ARC is about to open the door, isn't it? Yeah, hello, Mr. Cyclops. I'm actually gonna go south, mainly because if I stayed there, that ARC walking right by the door would have seen me. Um, I could have possibly gotten down here without micro whipping and not been a problem, but I wasn't sure how fast he was moving. Alright, the other thing I need on, which I don't have on yet, like cloaking just became more valuable. Mainly because it can, it already could have been more valuable earlier, but anyway, it can drop me, it can help me avoid being spotted when I drop into certain areas. Alright, uh, I don't know, am I going to actually get some of these things? <laughs> yes, exactly. Good, good code right there, exactly. If I, I, I'm destined to teleport away from... <laughs> The artifacts, as soon as they get close. There is code for that. Integrated mediator would have been okay to grab. Not essential, but both that and the core membrane. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to manage to actually get anything anymore. <laughs> going to have to escape out of here. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Mm, well, anyway, the other thing is, yeah, we can just keep running around and... To end up where we want to be, you know? Oh, shoot. This is not where I want to be. Hmm. Yeah, hello, Mr. Heavy. Goodbye, Mr. Heavy. I am not going to go that way. We will go a different way. Hopefully not back towards him. Oh, we got close. <laughs> back into the side of his range again. Ah. Don't worry, you'll just NEM away from the cutters. That's true, but then there's more and more cutters. <laughs> NEM, this is not where I want to be, is the official catchphrase. It's going to send me north eventually. I just know it. Oh, actually, I can't do this forever, though. I should... Mainly, I can't move forever. I'm running low on power. I'm going to shut it off for just a bit. Ah. A little closer this time. Hmm. Those are the grunts out there, probably. Uh, micro drive is limited, yes, in theory. I have a lot of core, though, so I'm not really worried about its cost at the moment. Okay. Get your core back after branch transition? That's correct, yeah. So we'll get core back later. Um, Alright, anyway. Oof. I gotcha. Finally acquired. Okay, so we want... Uh, get the core membrane would still be super nice. Like, insanely nice. Oh, whoops. Thank you for the warning. That's an important warning. Alright, now I want to go north again. Try to get that. Let's get as north as we can. There might be... There's, I think there's grunts to the west. They're right outside this room. Yeah, those are grunts. 
That's throwing not the direction I wanted to go in. That's the other catchphrase, right? <laughs> That's not the direction I wanted to go in. Um, looks like they might be headed that way. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna wait here just for a second. Those, that's a squad right outside. Hmm. Could try to micro it past them all. Yeah, salad, I said. Really? Oh, shoot, he's in the way now. Crap, crap, crap. I was about to micro up straight through the door. Move, please. I can see him on seismic. It's blocking the way. Alright, I don't know which one that is. Crap. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Integrator redistributor. I guess I don't actually need that. The main thing I just want is a core membrane. And well, I did also want to get these, but to be honest, I don't know how that. That, that might be kind of hard. The uh, wait a minute, that's not what I wanted. Oh yeah, the dissipator. Oh wait, dis yeah, the, the stuff in the LRC lab. Hey, where is it? Oh, there's that. Oh, the dissipator's outside. Right, right. The dissipator's outside. These two are inside as usual. Milk, oh yeah. <laughs> what skill did he have away from making it to the LRC cache? I like the range. The range is good. This is good. This is a good range in this in the in EM, don't you think? <clears throat> Alright, now I can see where those dudes are. Where are they? They're gonna hang around out there now. I'm gonna wait here. I'm just gonna wait this time. Alright, they're headed back north. Ooh. Hey guys. Cloaking is not going to help here. I'm back! <laughs> Uh-oh, I got corrupted. That's actually not cool. I didn't turn the cloak on specifically because it wouldn't have helped there. Got corrupted. I knew there were some traps around here. You know what? I maybe should have warped my way in here. This is kind of an unfortunate non-warp. Please, do it. One more. <gasps> Success! Made it. Man, micro warp drive combined with NEM is pretty cool. <laughs> it allows you to undo negative effects. All right, space will activate it would also be fun, but to be honest, I don't know. If I could fit it on top of stuff, maybe it could. Core membrane the first time you set off a shock trap here. Oh, yeah, so I don't get shocked again. That was a lucky first trap, to be honest, too. I didn't get uh, corrupted. It's probably not going to be a huge deal, though. I love how the core member doesn't remove corruption. That's right. <laughs> well, if we want to, technically, there's another... Me there's a... Wasn't there another CRM out here somewhere? You could eat that. Where is the other CRM? I'm pretty sure there was a reset matrix out here, right? No. There's a regenerator. Anyway, maybe there wasn't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there is another one out there. Hmm. I technically, we can get rid of it. All right, now. Now to make the ultimate journey. Oh, I don't know where the exit is. Hmm. Anyway, well, I guess we'll find out. There's still that heavy to the east. Uh, also, I still have to get out of this room, which is probably not too hard to do. In fact, nothing's hard with any M. Nothing is hard except everything. Yeah, there we go. We're safe. Outside the room slippery like that. Okay, so the heavy is there. We could head straight east. Oh, also one of the cool things about Space Fold is going through that wall. I'm going to grab the Space Fold activator just because it's such an awesome item. <gasps> Ever closer. <laughs> Alright, something tells me this is not a thin wall and that's correct. All right, yeah, that's a room, separate room here. Shoot. 
right, I'm not gonna bother warping here, I don't... Uh... You know what? Maybe I should warp here. Boom! That's how you do it. We now have the Space Fold Activator, which is also really cool. Now I guess we can head straight down that corridor up in the north, past the heavy. This level's full of so much good... Yeah, it's a good map. It's got a lot of problems. I mean, a lot of danger, but... If you know what you're doing, it's... Yeah, it's loot heaven. All right, I kind of want... I want to go northeast down that corridor. To be honest, it looks like this whole middle area is empty, too. Maybe I should micro-warp straight east. Let's do it. All right, well, I found the access exit. <laughs> That's the only danger if your heavies aren't on strike like mine. Are you, are you lucky there? Um, yeah, the heavies in particular can make this little map a lot more problematic, given their locations, potential locations. All right. I'm getting closer to the east side. Okay, this is not terrible. Okay, no, there's now there's a warden straight in front of me. That's not amazing. Could head straight south. He'll shoot me before I get into cover, so I could micro warp south, I guess. Oh, actually, there's another option here. I don't have it attached. I think I can space fold through the wall, but I should put a space fold on. W2. I was planning on just doing a regular win, but actually, what is... Uh, I don't have any other plans for specific ends. Oh, W2? All right, and never mind. I have a CRM, so yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to go south here. I should probably put... A, wait, how much does this thing... That's one mass um, for this. It's got 250 integrity, 15 coverage. We are at, uh, we're right at mass level, which means I'd have to pull off something. I could pull off, I don't, I'm, I don't need the actual Falks attached. I have it on for no reason in particular. It's just something to put in the slot. So if I wanted to, I could pull that off, but then it actually wouldn't, oh yeah, okay, no, I could stay in there. Yeah, I could pull that off and, um, oh, I'd have to pull off also another utility though to make room for it. Mm, I don't actually have anything to remove. Hmm. Unless I stop doing one of the cloaking or the RCS. <laughs> Last S7 had one heavy in the middle of the map guarding nothing. Everything good was just around his radius. <laughs> Lucky. CRM does forget A7's code. It didn't originally, but that was added <clears throat> later, actually by request even, just for consistency, which makes sense. So I threw that in there too. There was a few things that weren't, it didn't clear originally. Um, okay, so back to what I was thinking here. Um, I was thinking, of, I wanted to try to get the activator on me, but to do that, I need to make myself lighter. Hmm... Which I don't have a good way to do. Also, I had a DNI specifically put it at the exit if and when I find it first, but maybe I'm gonna need that less. It's kind of funny, I have three of my inventory slots devoted to teleporting and teleportation and addition stuff when uh, I have almost unlimited red teleported now. Uh, if your flight brick gets shot off, your support is all. That is true. I mean, actually, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna remove it too. Before we leave this floor, I'm removing flight brick anyway. So yeah, technically, um, I could just I could get it then once. But it sounds like you should be taking more hits. <laughs> okay, you know what? I didn't think about it like that. You're right. I don't want my armor to get damaged, but because the armor is going to be more valuable once the flight brick goes down or gets replaced, armor is more valuable. Uh, so technically, yeah, if I wanted to, I could get shot by this guy. Um, I mean, I don't have to, though. I could just take the core damage and go south with Micro Warp. Otherwise, I would have dragged him behind the terminal. But I was thinking of activating through this wall to the south of us, actually. I mean, normally what I would do right now is go north, and then we'd be fine. Space uh, fold to the north. Mm. I can get rid of the Falks for, for good, I guess, too, probably. Just... 
But it, the thing is, I need to replace a utility that's attached. And I don't want to keep up anything I've got. I don't have a lot of flexibility in my utilities right now. Could just forget that idea altogether and let him start chasing me. But then I've also got a sentry after me, which would be kind of nice to not have. A little less flexible. Once he starts to chase... Um, well, no matter what, he's going to happen now anyway, so th I'm thinking about more of what I should have had or could have had rather than dealing with what we do have. So, th considering that, let's uh, use some core here. Hello there, Sandry. Uh, the items will uh, fall to the ground when uh, flight brick goes down. All right, um, that's right. And just gonna see if I get a machine index that didn't happen. Well, I was going to hack the door. <laughs> it, it looks like, though, the exit is to the south side. All right. Um, we are in. <laughs> That's right. Can't forget about NEN. NEM's like, what about me? <laughs> Terror bomb. Terror bombs are also cool. Maybe kind of nice with this... Uh, particular build. It's kind of fun playing with these things and not necessarily having to um, consider how you're going to use really uh, try to maximize your power. Core reset LRCs. I'm going to LRCs stuff. Hey guys. Yeah, I think I'll leave plugging on for a second. <laughs> Terror bomb, those are people people who care about walls. Yes, that's true. I mean, technically we have space pulled now. I just think it's kind of fun to be able to do, especially in combination with micro warp, but... Dude, I was just getting away from these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> MWD, NEM, Spaceball. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. Echo Skip. Echo Skip. That sounds like a that sounds like a, a new a new utility. Echo Skip. <laughs> all right. Fine. I'll use that. I could also go east now with this. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Or reset. Core is a resource. There we go. Core reset. I can reset my core again. Could save it for later. Or get rid of 1%. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. There's no reason to save it. Because I won't get corrupted again. Yes. Now I need to make sure I use this immediately. Um, Alright. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to drop... Uh, I'm gonna go here. Okay, that was a little risky. I dropped my cloaking device for that. Also, I lost map data, but that's not important. Oh, I named myself in for an imaginary Rimworld sidecast where you could skip to some location and back to where you came from a moment after. That's cool. And Ian will scout it all for you again. That's exactly right. Oh, speaking of, well, I considered micro warping south here, but you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna wait. 
Okay, that'll do. Open the freaking door. Thank you. Okay, pretty good, pretty good stuff, yeah. All right, I think we're pretty much done. Uh, unless I wanted to actually grab a terror bomb, which is kind of sounds fun, but I don't really have any space for it. We got a space hold activator. I have some ridiculous stuff. I don't actually need teleporters, probably. It's kind of pointless to have both of them and, and micro warp, but also I have basically a ridiculous amount of micro warping and other stuff. Yes, a lot of eating stuff. Hardest challenging game. IR good? I mean, what am I going to... It is good, that's for sure. And there's two of them. That's the super valuable thing. But what am I going to... I don't need to repair the flight brake. I could repair... I mean, I don't know. What am I going to end up repairing with it? It's good, though. Yeah. It's in a cannon to eat everything inside. No, you... No, most people don't do that. And in fact, that's why NEM was added to the game. To make it so that eating everything in sight... I mean, that's... CRM was already one thing. One reason to not do that. Uh, in case you didn't want that. Now NEM provides another reason maybe to not do that, you, unless you know what it is, because um, unless you can identify it beforehand. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. If we rip the flight brick off now, then we have room for the IRs as well, and then I have to consider it. That's true. I, I, then the next question is, can I actually reach them? I like the fact that I'm going to have all this extra energy capacity, though. Wow, man, NEM is just, like, doing all the work for me. <laughs> uh, if I rip off the light brick though we lose seismic lose machine analyzer and the targeting computer I mean that's all fine we're gonna uh, again we're gonna do that soon anyway so I guess now is the time right now is a good opportunity for this but um, actually I need to eat oh wait I can't I'm, I'm not eating these now anyway so yeah I'm gonna need to make room for them let's now let's do it fine uh, just in case Let's take off, uh, just lost some stuff, there's our seismic detector on the floor, um, wait, how fast are we here? 90, that's good enough. I wanted to prioritize picking that up. Okay, we have our extra seismic there if we need it. Ooh, okay, and we're back down. Yeah, exactly. Salute the flight brick. It's the entire run. I could, could have gone to the end with it just for the hell of it. Uh, maybe, anyway. Um, it could survive, probably, if we really wanted it to survive the entire run. But now we have a replacement flight brick. We have now three extra mass support coverage. And if you change, coverage is completely different now. Our armor is doing a lot of the work. But we can also just as easily lose any number of other things. So getting shot is a little more dangerous now. Flight pick really is bricky. It lives up to that um, intent, right? But we now have two free inventory slots. And look at our... Our, our inventory is like almost all artifacts. <laughs> that is funny. Um, hello, Mug Boy. Welcome to the stream. Um... Losing seismic hurts my info hoard. Well, again, I've still got the seismic here in my inventory. We can put another one on at any moment. But we're kind of low on the slots at the moment. So um, I was planning on putting it back on next uh, after this. I should have brought space, friend. Uh, I didn't even think about that, actually. That's right. We're an alien sprinter now. <laughs> Two IRs could have easily gotten there. Oh, yeah, we could have easily repaired and kept that thing operational. The main thing, I guess, is just to get actual permanent slots rather than temp slots. But to be honest, yeah, it would have been fine because we had three temp slots. And at most, if we were unlucky, we'd lose one of them, maybe, like the, the seismics in particular. And that would still put us, we'd still have as much slots as we would normally have there. So to be honest, ripping off light brick probably wasn't entirely necessary. Could have just used IRs. I don't know. In hindsight, maybe I should have done that. 
gotten I should have just dropped those you repaired the flight brick I didn't think about that originally though I was just going with momentum with the original plan um, was to eventually get rid of it but we could have repaired it kept it and just the other slots would probably be fine we just lose one perma slot which is not would be just I think just fine because we would have kept those MTF is somehow a negative five and that took two hours before <laughs> that's surprising yeah Cleared five deaths before kids is going to clear two. I am I'm pretty slow in the late game, that's for sure. I'm fast through the beginning, but then once we get to the late game, there's a lot of a lot of talk and thinking and deciding where to go. That's when it always gets slow for me at the end. But yeah, still here. But it, honestly, the from here on out, it should be fairly easy. Excellent, doing fairly good overall. And even have more inventory space. Um, just makes me... Alright, let's just go. I'm going to get any end out of here in a second. Or not. The opposite of any end out of here. going to go hang out up here. This will teleport us into the main room. There we go. <laughs> Who would you warn? Who the hell did he warn? There's someone behind the machine? The programmer? I don't think so. Oh, unless he was just too slow to react. Too slow. I thought the programmer was too far away. Ah, <laughs> Mug boy, finally able to catch a stream after getting the game recently to expert influencing techniques by a certain Factorio enthusiast. I wonder who that is. <laughs> yeah, that is. We're we're in the deep end right now. We would have even less idea what we're talking about. That's for sure. Yeah, we're in an extended kind of a spoilery area where there's just all kinds of crazy items and uh, different mechanics to consider. Not stuff that newer players will encounter. That's for sure. So it gets kind of crazy in the late game here. Um, also, there's more reconstructors up north. Not that I really need them. Uh, I have more than a need, but I could grab one just for the heck of it. Or I could try to grab one and fail. Okay, there. That, that's another programmer. Is that a different programmer? Or the same programmer? I won't go that way then. Okay, maybe I will go that way. <laughs> Hello there. Mr. Programmer. This voice seems pretty peaceful so far. Well, we're also teleporting away from, like, everything. This <laughs> is so I went to Kenny M. Yeah, it's for the content. Oh, wait a minute. Here we are. Yeah, it's peaceful because we're keeping it peaceful. Also, we're a peaceful build, right? Um, can I actually get in here? Maybe I should have actually... Teleport it there. Drained L cannon. No, this is not ruining it. Wait a minute. What? Oh, it's in the other room. Shoot. <laughs> I, I, forgot to, I forgot the layout of this room. This is a matter drive room and it's in the other side. Shoot. Okay, well then, fine. I'll go around. Or I won't go around. Hmm. Hmm. Eat that. Oh yeah, I need to remember that I need to protect my parts now. Maybe I should get some shielding. <laughs> uh, I cannot imagine trying to set up a DLC with NEM. That would definitely be a nightmare. You teleport five times while firing it alone. <laughs> I know. Now I can teleport even harder. Look at this. I got like five, four teleports in a DNI in uh, inventory here, and uh, this is quite the inventory. It's we're definitely an alien sprinter. We're an alien hoarder sprinter. Oh shoot! These guys are right outside. Oh, well then, just got shot again. I need to probably not get shot so much. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just keep going. <laughs> All 
right. Uh, the actually the exit's not on this side though. I have to go all the way to the south, which is the dangerous side. Oh, hello there, guys. I think I just got alerted. Um, I've never used a DNI for its intended purpose. To me, it's an explosive. Yeah, we do have space fold. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, the, the reason I'm saying we can't go through the north side is because uh, that's not where the exit is. I, we need to come to the south. I'm trying to get out of here now. Uh, uh, so I need to find out where the exit is. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere down here. We have no intel on that yet. Um, but yeah, DNI is <laughs> quite often used as an explosive. Exit uh, is due west from here. It's on the north side, though, right? I mean, the exit wasn't up here. It was down here. Or actually, no, wait. It's even further south now. Uh, we already passed through the north side. There's no exit up there, right? Um, I don't actually get the ex ex exit intel, but the fact that it wasn't on the north side made me think it was somewhere down here. Wait. We're in section 7. Oh, the exit's always on the north side, isn't it? <laughs> I just hadn't found it yet. Okay. Fine, I'll go back. Oh, shoot! I forgot I had... Oh, I got it. Fine, okay, I'm gonna kill myself here. I don't think we saw it first, no. I'm gonna kill myself. I don't care player. <laughs> I just wasted a billion core for basically no reason. All right. Let's uh, not be so dumb. Um, what? Oh, shoot. Press the wrong button here. Um, forgot. I want to do... We're going to do cloaking device for our space fold activator. God damn it. All right. Well, at least it's not as bad as it could have been. Get over here. Let me through the door. There we go. Anyway, there shouldn't be an exit up here. There's a heavy up here. Where is the exit? It's uh, gotta be somewhere else. I have no idea where the exit is. <laughs> I just, anyway, I just wasted a billion core by zipping back and forth like twice. That was a lot of movement. Uh, exit can be space folded to the south. You mean you think through here? Hard to tell right now. We could actually. Oh, whoops! Forgot about that guy. Damn it! I don't have. Oh no! I don't have a way to detect him anymore. I think it's through the bottom of this terminal room. You think? Hmm. Hmm. Hard to say. All right. Okay. Well, I was about to test something, but now I can't test it because I'm in another room. I was gonna go. What well, we could have done is step into this doorway and shot with a cannon south to see if what's over there. It's possible you're right, though. It could be down there. Oh, there's a sentry in that room, too. Man, there's sentries all over the place. Alright. He already passed out, right? Yeah, he's gone. You know what? I think we'll just find it on accident before long. Wait, where's the exit? It's not here. Where the hell's the exit? Hmm. Oh, can the exit... In this case, can the exit be down here, which is where I was headed earlier? I forgot. It's a bit to the west? Any of it's so funny. Any of it's crazy. Unfortunately, we have stuff to mitigate some of its downsides, but... Yeah, we should hack this terminal, I agree. That's a very good idea. Find the friggin' exit. Uh, it's security level 3, then it's gonna be a little harder. Um... Indirect on this terminal, I'm not gonna be able to get anywhere on this thing, I don't think, even. After having ripped off our hackware here, I could do a zone layout. I'll try that, because it's direct. This has gotta be, uh... Zero, yeah. Hate those stealth level 3s. I know, this one in particular. <laughs> uh... Alright, well it can't be north. Um, it's got to be down here. I'm kind of running low enough on micro-warping core that I need to be careful micro-warping a bit too much. The map comment was in queue. Yeah, 
the map comment wasn't cute. That, that was a different map. Uh, the thing is, though... Hmm. It was to your west from here. We didn't see the exit earlier on this floor. Right? No? I, uh, I, we already saw the exit? Oh, okay. I wasn't paying any attention to it then. I guess I'll just you know, walk over here and get noticed by this guy. I should try some traditional movement. Crap. <laughs> and he aimed right into it? Really? Really? And it was on the north side, you're saying? So it must be over here to the northwest area? That's kind of a weird location. Right before CRM? That was the last map. Shoot. I, I still don't understand how where it could be up here on this north side. It's way... It, how could it even be over there? Oh, uh, yeah. Micro... Exit found. Access... Requires space hold activator. Huh. And then shifted. Okay. So yeah, it must have been over there. Weird. So it is off to the west. Huh. Okay. Please don't shoot me. I didn't hack this terminal yet, did I? Zero percent still on here. All right, fine. Anyway, get some layout data. And then... I'm surprised it's that far over. Hmm, multiple terminals in this room. Hey, Garrison, that'll get us out. Uh, I, that's that's a funny idea, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Shoot. <sighs> that guy can see us here. There it is. Found it. <laughs> Yeah, I just recalled then where it was. Um, we teleported right next to the area next to where it is. Okay, running low on matter, but yes, easy goodbye to this map. <laughs> God, double NEM, oh yeah. Okay, so now we get our real utility slots back, or we could take just one and take another of something else. Overall seems pretty okay though. And uh, now we're pretty much unstoppable. Could probably hit teleport a billion times to find the exit, right? Well, okay, might cause trouble, but... Um, hmm. Look what's to the east! Oh. Oops! It's completely unnecessary. 
we can space fold right through the door anyway. It's more fun when there's more enemies around, though. Um, hmm, where are we? Uh, wow. Okay, wh what? <laughs> I'm trying to get our bearings here. We're in the, the middle west side of a vertical map. Interesting start. Completely necessary. We get any ammo for enemies. Yes! <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's start the exploration. Uh, yeah, NEM heard me there. <laughs> uh, I don't need to go this way, though. Okay, well, wait. No, we could actually get some intel at a terminal. And I'm going to try not to waste all my core too quickly. I'm going to ignore that warden, because I don't really care if he sees me. <laughs> oh, shoot. I was literally about to hack the terminal. Okay, here's another terminal. I'll hack this terminal. Speaking of, actually... Oh, wait. I need more... In four. All right. Well, first, let me finish this before I get zipped away. Um, machine index is ten percent. Wow, that's actually a pretty cool hack. Oh, but level access is twenty. Okay. Well, done with that. All right. I'll ignore that for now. All right. Let me. I don't actually need seismic as much now, but eh, we will do that. All right. Also, we're still underweight. Our in inventory. Wait. Is, how heavy is actually a cloaking device? Mass one. Hell yeah. I can also put on our cloaking device, and now we have all of the build back together, and all I've got is a ton of teleportation and the fusion bomb. It's all alien stuff and a fusion bomb. An integrity redistributor. This is pretty awesome. Quite a nice entry for this. Level access, 20% dev hacks. Psh. Nah, that's when I hit like garrisons, uh, shut down garrisons when they're only 7%, which happens a lot. <laughs> happens a lot, except when it doesn't happen. Okay. Oh, wait, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Oh, it's pretty far away. Oh, okay, it's center east on this map. Hmm. It's Carlyph Christ in the middle of the map, which is a little dangerous, but I mean, not really much dangerous in this case. I have, we're pretty much guaranteed an exit eventually. Uh, my biggest enemy right now is NEM. <laughs> Hey, weren't we here before? It did the same thing last time. <laughs> uh, anyway, free teleporting. Yep. Wow, it's really good at that. Alright, fine, I'll go this way. Maybe that'll make it happy. Okay, maybe. <laughs> and Neom has a sense of humor. Control W for wish mode. <laughs> Alright, we're getting closer. I can sense it. I'm gonna kill this guy. So carrying the Falx, which is pretty funny. Alright, you survived. Can I chase you down? Three eyes? Oh my god. Didn't manage to kill you. Flight units. All unknown. Alright, there's a programmer down there. It's less appealing. <laughs> amusing NEM. Very amusing. Oh, matter! Please, let me grab the matter. Yes, okay, grab the matter. Alright, so... Look how close we are. <laughs> so much stuff. Ooh. Wait, where are we now? Everything is relative to <laughs> access exit. What's that? Nothing. Yeah. I could actually use and the micro-warp to get there and me, like, immediately. Yeah, I, I love that too, Dodge. <laughs> when Cockmine opens the door, sees a bunch of bots, and closes the door. Yeah, can totally... Hmm. Actually, how deep is this? That is space fold. Well, that's a good W zero. Oh, there's the ending. I don't know. I don't. I don't record endings on my videos uh, normally. I've never done that before. Otherwise, 
there is a special ending if you have any um, special as in there's a slightly different end uh, if you do a regular win or or in this case a uh, uh, CRM win um, got to use all the tallies now no, I like to exit with them I like them in my inventory there Okay, I thought you were about to say, well, that's a good stopping point. No, no, no. no. I have to stop before I test the exit just because I got to say in advance. Or, or really, this is going to be... I don't normally record the endings and I, uh, for my videos. Technically, we're going to win. And there is a uh, an ending uh, that's unique to NEM. Or at least there's a little modification to it. So, eh. No, that would be funny. <laughs> to double NEM to leaving the service teleports you back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a good, it is a good time, though, for the end of the stream, actually, because it's about the end, of close, getting close to when I would normally want to end anyway. So that's also why I started to, uh, or was mainly rushing through access, but also the fact that basically we have, um, if you're just going to do a regular win, it's overkill to do the research branches. I mean, it's not necessarily overkill, but as long as you can survive them just fine, you'll be well, you know, be um, more than well enough prepared to take on access. Um, without it, it can be a little more dangerous, but even then, uh, W0 is not. It's pretty easy to get reliably. But uh, if you're an, a decent enough player, if you take these, you'll have enough... You'll just have enough toys to just uh, fight and or sneak and or do whatever your way through access pretty quickly. Overall, this has been an interesting run. I guess, in the end, uh, I would have preferred to have kept Flight Brick, just so we could have said it was an actual full Flight Brick run. Um, even though it lost all of its integrity earlier on, but I was going with momentum. The original idea was I wanted to get my permanent slots back. But, as I was explaining earlier, I don't think it made... It doesn't make really much strategic sense to do that if you're going to go for W0 anyway, so... Could have just repaired it. And we have all this other stuff here. A lot of teleports. Um, also, just watch. I'm talking about this, and NEM is going to stop me right before I stake out and take the surface exit, which would be amusing. But yeah, it was it was a fun run. Uh, it was a good. Uh, it was interesting to play with um, flight for a while, especially also specifically flight break. I basically let this run be determined by what we found in in sub caves, and it turned out to be flight breaks. Not what I wanted to necessarily do, but uh, I had fun with it anyway. And I also got to do you know, so I specifically went for NEM just to get to toy around with that because that made that pretty interesting too. Uh, different uh, stuff. Com I like the combining that with Space Vault and Micro Rope. All these things together are just pretty much it's chaotic, but it's, uh, it's hard to stop, too. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'd like to do other types of runs. Um, I've got a lot of runs I want to do, in fact, because I've been streaming a l much less Kog'Maw than usual over the last year. I've been streaming less to go for specific runs and or stuff I want to do, and more just because I did a release and, I need, and a version and I needed to I needed to play test it and show off some new stuff. And so I wasn't really going for any specific necessarily types of runs. But now I want to get back. I wanna, I'd like to do a riff run. They're kind of slow, though. They My riff runs usually take over a month five streams to finish on average, which is a long time, just because there's a lot more planning involved. But it's been a long time since I've done a riff run, and I really want to do one of those. Another run, I got a golem run. I've only ever done one, and that was the one run where I forgot to upload the last video, and it got deleted. So I actually, on my YouTube channel, I have a, a full, I did a golem run, which went all the way to the, uh, like, full run with golem all the way. And, uh, Unfortunately, there's no ending to that story because the video got deleted. <laughs> I got a comment on that actually back then. It's like, is there going to upload the last video? And I went back and looked and said, oh my god, I forgot to upload the video. So there was no ending to the golem run, even though it went on to win. Exit with a full golem the entire way, fighting all the way. It was a pretty cool run. Golem can be pretty fun, but I've only ever done a serious golem run a couple times. Riff is good, though. and it's Obviously, Riff is like the, you know, the flavor of the month for Cogmind lately, uh, with all these new players and enjoying trying to get into Riff. So we should probably do a Riff run just for that purpose, if only for it. So Josh says he wants to do a Golem run now. Yeah, Golem's fun. Golem is a very cool... It's, you know, it's another completely different kind of way uh, to play Cogmind, a different approach. It allows you to really take uh, some interesting different uh, strategic concerns into consideration, so I, I had a lot of fun with that. The main thing about me uh, that kind of makes me shy away sort of from golem runs is if I'm doing a stream and we're doing a golem run, it's a little less guaranteed. You might die. <laughs> I don't want to die trying halfway through a golem run because I couldn't get the golem units in the first place. That kind of makes me m want to get better at it first, maybe, just to be more consistent, because I know it's also got, it's, a, it's changed a little since I did my golem run. I've gotten a little harder. 
ZDC is rough. Yeah, ZDC can be can be rough. It depends. It's, it's there is a little bit of luck involved in terms of um, the setup and how what level what depth is at for one and uh, how easy it can be to pull off. And so, I mean, in a normal run, you can just say, well, maybe, you, maybe you'll bail and do something else, but you know, if I'm doing it for a stream or whatever, I'm trying to focus on actually doing that. And so it push it no matter what, and might end up dying, which would be kind of wasteful. Um, but it's, it's, I'll do it eventually. Uh, plus, I'd, again, I'd already done a golem run before, so I don't necessarily have to always go back and, and do another of the same types of run. I always like to try and do new and different kinds of runs, but... Um, Riff, I guess I've I've only done one main riff run, and the, and the only riff run I did was before beta, before that beta released, the one that redid Garrison's beta twelve. I did a, I did a riff run when we were testing it, but I didn't do one after it was released. It's pretty much the same content, but uh, the revamped Garrison's to play get to get to play around with them in riff, which might be a good idea to try again. I think specifically because I can. Uh, Again, check the balance of those garrisons. I know people are talking about having a lot of out-of-depth weapons can be a little too out-of-depth and are good, but it really depends on what, how you're playing, too. If you're going Riff, you might not really be focusing on that stuff anyway. So, uh, Rooney says, if you were, pl were you ever planning on nerfing how to get into ZDC? Um, yeah. It's, I, no, I wasn't really planning on that. Stupidly strong for mid-game option. I mean, it's... Um, you're fixing the golem cheese. Uh, wall cheese is good, but still way too easy. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know exactly how easy it is. I mean, I, I, I think if you do the right setup, it's supposed to be fairly consistent. I'm personally not as familiar with that setup. So I think um, uh, I'm kind of okay with that again because it's a, it's a mid game thing where if it, like I was just describing, it would kind of suck if you go all that way and then you can't get it. And you and you and or you die because of it, because uh, it's really dangerous. It's the kind of floor where if you fail, you die probably, um, which I don't really like in Cogmind. In Cogmind, I like it so that you can still escape most of the time. Um, so that one's a little iffy. I think I'm okay with it being pretty. You were talking about getting into it specifically too. I think getting into it can it should be kind of. I think it should be okay for getting into it, uh, unless. You know, it's it's still it's not something that new players. Part of the reason to make it harder to get into is also f to keep kind of keep new players out of there, which it already does successfully, pretty much, um, even given its current state. Stop having fun, players. <laughs> um, in that case, please don't do a riff run. Well, sorry, I didn't. It wasn't. I should be following the chat here. What was that a reply to? Um, the setup usually don't take too much torque damage. Core damage in factory, bring big treads, bring a hammer, launcher or two, EM cannon or two. Yeah, that's pretty much the basic setup. Yeah. A fighting Z more of an option to get the Kozaner. Eh. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it, they ask you how to enter and they find a rating 2 hammer. It's true. Um, I mean, we could make the doors stronger. And the walls. Make all the doors and walls stronger. So that you can't get through with even a rating two hammer anymore, that's an idea. Then you got to bring a plasma cutter or get the codes. I mean, that's okay. With the new plasma—that's part. In fact, that's something I wanted to do with the new plasma cutter. I like riffs. So if you do, <laughs> deep feel says I like riffs. So if you do a riff run, you'll nerf it. Joking. <laughs> you know, I mean, I do. I've done many riff runs. I've done. Including, like I said, to check the balance of that. But I, I, I doubt it would be any significantly nerfed. I, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I like it where it is. But you're okay with that, Runia says about the door. Yeah, I like the idea of that actually making the the Zion door. Because what I wanted to do with the int with the introduction of plasma cutter is um, add a few areas where it's actually hard or almost impossible to get through without a plasma cutter um, or some or hacking. One of the two options. In other words, you can't. Because originally, doors, strong doors and reinforced walls were meant to keep out people who couldn't hack, right? But then eventually, we did the whole revamp for Beta 11 that made, in particular, Impact super strong for getting through all those doors. And I'm okay with it getting through most of them, but it'd be really nice if we had some doors that it couldn't bash through, right? Um, so maybe, especially and if there's any candidate for it, maybe the ZDC area would be one to start with, is make that much much stronger um yeah I, and so yeah and i, I want to add more sp things specifically you know 
that's the thing, you know, the game keeps building on itself, which is how, you know, it can keep getting deeper and deeper, but, you know, you add one thing, and then another thing counters that, and you want stuff to counter that, and you keep going, and that, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper and more layered, but, so back to what I was talking about, the plasma cutter, that was one of the things, when I introduced it, I was like, well, okay, this is cool, so we either have to make some of the door, existing doors a little harder to get into, or even a cooler thing is to try and find a few places in the game now where we can add in new stuff that's really hard to get into without that. You know, that, that's what I was thinking when I was adding in um, this new feature for it, which I think is a pretty cool feature. I haven't gotten to play with it myself yet, but I mean, it's not really hard to grasp theoretically. Um, it's a pretty, pretty basic <laughs> type of item and strategy uh, involved. But, um, all right, yeah, d thanks for hanging out, Dosh, and I gotta go to bed. Uh, the ring, good luck with the rest of my run. Yeah, we're gonna take three steps, and I don't know, the run might take another ten minutes, because we'll get NEM'd away, right? And I, I, I'm just sitting here chatting before we end the stream. <laughs> anyway, we can talk about the rest of this back in, in on the Discord. Uh, I'm gonna win this run and see what my score is. It's probably not amazing. Let's let's do that instead of doing it all on the on a video but and it was a chance for me to get some design thoughts out um yeah but i like the idea of making that door a lot stronger yeah that's a cool idea um and makes sense so let's not get teleported away okay we made it so i'm not gonna watch the ending we will skip the ending as usual here's my end we're gonna skip that yep skip past the ending and get our windscreen which is only 23k pretty crappy because it was a basic flight run that didn't do we know we did went to a lot of places and that's where we got but we didn't fight almost anything <laughs> so this is a pretty typical uh basic flight win uh type of um score uh yep to be expected um i'm gradually slipping on the leaderboards because my original beta 13 run it was a more fighty run I went through and blasted a whole ton of stuff. Ended up with like 63,000 or something. It's a pretty decent score, actually. Not not super amazing, but it was also just a regular win. So not bad for a regular win. So anyway, that is the end. Mostly the walls need the buff, really. Yeah, right, the walls. I'll have to look at that. I think those are the, those are the only walls um, in that floor. So those could be buffed separately. Um, special walls, because all the special walls on a floor have, all the reinforced walls have to have the same integrity and the same stats, and I, I think those are the only ones, but anyway, we'll get to that. So yeah, the, may the flight brick rest easy. Yeah, sorry about the, yeah, I'm sorry to the flight brick. We should have kept you to the end just so we could say we had you to the end and even repaired it. That would have been actually kind of cool to repair it and go on with that. I thought about it right after <laughs> made the switch. Yeah, but anyway, it happens. Uh, uh, some regrets. Anyway, yeah, it did have a very good run. That's the flight pick was pretty awesome. I should nerf that. Um, <laughs> and with that, the stream is over. 